It's time for Windows Weekly. Holy cow, the show I've been waiting for ever since yesterday. Microsoft's big event, all the new products. Paul and Mary Jo Foley were there. They're going to be here and talking about it. Windows Weekly, next. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Windows Weekly is provided by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Windows Weekly with Paul Thorat and Mary Jo Foley. Episode 434, recorded Wednesday, October 7th, 2015. Polo is the minimum. Windows Weekly is brought to you by Braintree. Looking to set up payments for your business? Braintree gives your app or website a payment solution that accepts just about every payment method with one easy integration. Plus, Braintree will give you the first $50,000 in transactions fee-free. To learn more, visit BraintreePayments.com slash Windows. And by lynda.com, the online learning platform with over 3,000 on-demand video courses to help you strengthen your business, technology, and creative skills. For a free 10-day trial, visit lynda.com slash windows. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash windows. And by NatureBox. NatureBox ships tasty snacks right to your door with over 100 flavors to choose from, like Asiago and cheddar cheese crisps. You'll never get bored with snacking again. Go online and get your first box at naturebox.com slash twit. It's time for our Windows Weekly, the show where we cover Windows Weekly with the normally depressed Paul Thorat and Mary Jo Foley, but <laughs> they're a little chipperer today. Leo, could you please play the song We Are the Champions? We, I, mean, that kind of I think we need a, uh, we definitely need a victory lap after yesterday's exciting hmm. announcements. Yep. Yep. Where, first though, uh, for anybody watching on video, it looks like you're in an actual, I don't know, <laughs> broadcast facility or something like that. That can't be. Is that Mary Jo's apartment? Yeah, so yeah. she's never turned the camera around, exactly. but if she had, this is what you would say. Wow. This is, yeah, so you know when I say I live in one room, this is the one room. Yeah, her bed's behind that thing. It is. So. <laughs> and you don't have a, a room for a TV because you've got 24 monitors in there. That's, That's right. The... Who needs a TV or an Xbox? Is this is this actually, it says CBS. Is this actually CBS? It is actually yeah. CBS. It's not some imposter? No. <laughs> no it's wow. Real thing. After we're done here, I'm going to screw around with the local news. <laughs> <laughs> is, it a, is, it a tel is it a television studio? What is, I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. It's very nice. Right. Yeah, broadcast center. Yep, CBS oh, broadcast center. They let you use the CBS broadcast center. Yeah, we told them twit. You know, you know, uh, you know they have those uh, bring your kid to work days. Yeah, like, you just said it's, I'm, it's it's sort of like that. Wow, this is nice. They're, they're in the audio control. This is the audio control booth for the uh, CBS local news. I'm told. Alex knows a little bit too much about yeah. where we are. That he is does. a that is a really nice facility. Look at those monitors and. I know. Well, that's nice. Well, you must have friends there. We do. <laughs> <clears throat> Friends in high places. Indeed. And uh, and are they going to kick you out in 20 minutes or is, is do, can we <laughs> We'll see. We got we'll a lot to talk gets. about here. This is a yeah. big this is a really big day. Uh you say in your notes inarguably the biggest day of the year for Microsoft. Which by the way, saying something when you consider that they launched Windows 10 this year. That's wow. a good point. Yeah. Um, I, I really thought, and it was kind of cool that uh, uh, Satya Nadella did not appear at the beginning, but yeah. not till the end for kind of a coda. And I really thought, in some ways, a victory lap. This is, to me, it looked like this is this is what Nadella was planning for the last almost two years. This is the Microsoft he had seen in his head. Is that? Do you feel mm -hmm. accurate? That's an accurate statement. Well, it's. I mean, part of it, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. let's not. I mean, uh, hardware is a small part of what is Microsoft. Right. Um, but as far as, uh, you know, the first party stuff, I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So um, how do you want to break it down? Should we just go through it as they did? Uh, uh, I, yeah. yeah. In order? We should do their order. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we should mention that Microsoft did stream it. You can watch the stream at Microsoft.com, but we also did our commentary, Mike Elgin and I. Uh, got up early, uh, West Coast time, and uh, watched the whole yep. thing. And boy, I was glad we were there. Yep. And um, 
so we we have a, a Twit Live special, I think 261, if you want to watch our commentary as well, if you want to kind of go back through it. Uh, worth watching, I think. It was very well presented. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this was maybe the the best Microsoft presentation yeah. overall. I, I, I thought so, yeah. Possibly ever. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly in recent memory. Yeah. An, hour, an hour and 50 minutes, but it, it moved along, and at no point did I feel like it was dragging. No. No, in fact, the way it was structured, it was kind of interesting because obviously some stuff had leaked ahead of time. And so yeah. the Windows Phone stuff in particular, we basically, I don't think there was really any No, new there weren't any there. surprises. It was and kind of funny. A... Panos Panay even referred to that, saying, I wish you guys wouldn't write about all this stuff. <laughs> oh, wait, we have a great story to tell you about that uh, okay. for later for the surface. Uh, he, he told us an amazing uh, story. Yeah. Um, but right about the halfway point, I thought, you know, it's too bad so much of this stuff leaked. There really isn't that much new information. And then that ACDC song kind of kicked in and the place oh, started man. pumping. And I was like, this is, this is kind of cool. You know? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. A, a nice event. Uh, how big was it? it I mean, that, that building itself, the old post office, is huge. It's yeah. huge. It was basically, well, it wasn't the whole inside, but no, it was a big but, chunk of yeah, it. Yeah, it was a skylight studio inside of there. So I, I bet there were like... 200 press, maybe? Would you guess that? Yeah, maybe. Around, more, yeah. maybe two to 300 press people. So, you know, it was all couches in the front and the back. They had some seating for the analysts and the Microsoft people who were there. Um, I sat with Julie Larson Green. Yeah, we wow. sat, we were in the front and Julie Larson Green was sitting right in front of Paul, who's mm -hmm. the chief experience officer. And we saw all the big guys. They were all there right yep. in front of us, yep. <laughs> What's, which is cool. What, you know, Microsoft did what Apple always does. They seated the audience with employees so that there'd be applause. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you know, the, the journalists yeah. don't are not kind of, it's not kind of not done. No, actually. The people applauding were not Microsoft employees. They were well, they were journalists. Well, but they, but no, no, but they were no. They, they were, were fans, yeah. right? So they for the, this ah. is the first time I think they've done that. They brought right. Windows insiders in who were fans, and oh, they had them sit in the audience. Cool. So it, yeah, that was cool. There was actually. one moment there was kind of a little mini uh, standing ovation. Yeah, and I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, <laughs> like they just kind of leapt yeah. out of their chairs. That explains you know? it. Okay, because yeah, I yeah. mean, journalists. If you just had journalists in an event like that, it, you would feel like, oh, this isn't going over, right? Because they're right. busy. Yeah. They're busy trying to live blog. Right. Although yes. I, I was watching your Twitter feeds, it didn't look like you guys were able <laughs> to get much. Well, that, yeah. So the one bad part about this event was the the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which died, and then the, the it just kind of went. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. All right. So, shall we go through one by one the announcements? First of all, and they said it several times, uh, a big number. Oh, yeah. Was it? Uh, 100, 110 million. Is that the number you're 110 million about? activations of Windows 10. Right. Yeah. That was big. The last number we had before that was 75 million, which was end of August. So, yeah, they're uh, still growing, right? Yeah. 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 And yep. it means it's it's the most successful uh, launch, I would say, of a Windows uh, operating system ever, right? It's got to be. At right. that. In terms of speed of pickup. I yeah. Think so. yeah. 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 So yeah. They, I mean, at 110 million, they're arguably bigger than Mac right now. Oh, yeah. They're, they're uh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, <laughs> sure. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. That's not saying much. But <laughs> yeah. well, but I mean, Although it's, Apple it's, did show up a few times at this event. They, it, it was very interesting. But as I thought about it, I realized, well, the reason Apple was, is a good whipping boy is because you, then you don't have to say Dell, Lenovo, HP, <laughs> Acer, and Asus. You don't have to say the OEMs. You can say, yeah. hey, we're, yeah. you know, we're going after the other guy. Uh, right. Sure. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't, I mean, I, I, even with Microsoft's first party hardware, I wouldn't say they're going after the Dell's no. or HP, no. say. You know, I, well, we'll I get, think there was kind of a, yeah, yeah we'll get to, we'll get to, to that. that. I don't yeah. want to, because they started with something that nobody else is doing, which is HoloLens. Right. And probably the coolest demo I've ever seen. What did that? I don't know what that looked like in the room. But it looked on, right in the room. What, what the question is? What did it look like to the guy with the hole? Yeah, I know. right. But I'd like uh, to this is too. always unfortunately the question we yeah. have to ask. It. Yeah, they had a nice yeah. red camera hooked up, and uh, they were able to yep. show it as if it was a full screen, and the guy mm. was shooting at monsters that were boring holes in those nice wooden <laughs> walls. Right. Uh, it was a very effective uh, uh, demonstration. Mm -hmm. I thought. Yeah, it, you know, the, we talked among ourselves about this. So, you know, they keep talking about HoloLens as being first for, um, you know, business applications. Every time we see a demo lately, it's games, right? So <laughs> it, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, more it's more fun to demo, uh, you know, guys getting shot than it is to a CAD cam thing. I, I admit, 
even even being the enterprise person, I admit that. But, <laughs> you know, it, it's funny because they keep talking about, yep, it's going to be an enterprise thing and version one enterprise. And then they show you a game. Well, my, my theory about that is that they then announced the SDK. Right. Coming in early 2016, $3,000. Yep. Right. And I think that demo was the type of thing where they wanted to say to developers, look, this you can do cool stuff with it. Yeah. And yep. I, I think that was really the point. Agree. Of that. Agree. And they also also showed a, a reel of Xbox uh, games that we all had <laughs> that we'd all seen yeah. before. Um, yeah. I think this is just the icing, right? This is a little a little yeah. sweetener to warm the audience yeah. up, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yep. Yep. But I think they also have to start coming clean about these demos on the Hololens because if you <laughs> if you imply that that's what people are going to see, they're going to be much more disappointed than if you were kind of more realistic. Yeah, don't you think? I mean, it's it's well, setting people up for a disappointment. Well, you know, last night they had a private party at the same venue where we had the launch and they let the fans come back and do some of the um, HoloLens demos and other things. And I talked to one guy who was there and he said, you know, you guys keep talking about this looking, looking like a mail slot. And he said, I did it and it wasn't. OK. Yeah. okay. Um, so I don't know if things are changing, if maybe if once we see the developer kit, it'll have a broader field of, of view. I don't know. But he definitely thought. You know, you guys said it's very small, and I thought it was very reasonable okay. when I was doing a game with it. Okay. So, does he have a small head? No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. in the in the in the demo, it's the fulfills the room, and the guys the guys moving yeah. around like it's not there's like stuff yeah. coming yeah. from all around him, right. and he turns around and yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I I just yeah. I think that that's a that's great to get people excited, but it's risky if you can't yeah. deliver. Yeah. Anyway, we no, don't say, you know, yeah. no, I, 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 well, like she said, they did a demo for those folks. We yeah. didn't get new demos. Right. Um, I'm not sure I would have done one at this point anyway, yeah. but um, I, I would be happy for the view yeah, <laughs> to be better than definitely. it was when I did it last time. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's really the, uh, I was kind of surprised. I thought, well, this is an interesting thing to start with. Yeah. Um, I, I, I was surprised they started with that, to be honest. Why, so why let's yeah. get it out of the way. It's a little, yeah. you know, it's, it's people are excited about Hololens. I, 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 I am, I am very much yeah. so. Yeah. 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 All right. Yep. So uh, then the band, and I know Paul's been very interested. He's a user. Mm -hmm. He likes the yep. uh, the Microsoft. I'm a user. Yeah. yeah. He's a I'm user. a user and a dealer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think this is, you know, somebody had said, uh, I think it was you who said last week that the 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 sneaks that we were seeing. Looked a lot like the renders of the iPhone before, or the I Apple Watch before it came out. Sure. Um, with the curved uh, kind of narrow screen, it it, it 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 it's it's its own world. It's a very different thing. But I think they've positioned it nicely. I think that there's. I do too. Yeah. They're focusing actually, on you know, fitness. Yeah. Right. The, the gut reaction you hear two fifty thing. It's a little expensive, but you yeah. know, honestly, it's com you compare it to the highest end Fitbit, which it's is a, probably three hundred dollars. It's the same price as a Fitbit Surge, which is. Pretty okay. comparable, two fifty. It's a it's a beautiful device. I, I think they've answered most of the big complaints about the previous one regarding like the chipping of paint and mm -hmm. the durability of the screen and you know uh, you know I think most of the stuff is there. Yeah. Um, more more sizes. So I tried one on and it actually fit my wrist because the first generation one on women especially was just kind of like ah yeah clunky. Is so it much feel, better. Does it feel comfortable? Does it kind of curve around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. It's really nice. And the material they said is like medical grade. I, I don't know what kind of substance that's made out of the band itself, but it was actually fairly. It feels better on your skin. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Plus, yeah. you know, it has a barometer, and I think we were all looking for right. that. So. Uh, where did, it, did the other one have a GPS? The original have a GPS? Yeah. Okay. It yeah. did. Okay. Yeah. Actually, one of the coolest things big. about it is yeah, you can go on a run or a walk or a bike ride or a, a, go on a golf course, whatever. And when you're done, you tell it you're done, and what you get is a map of that. Thing that you just did and it's right. literally a you know a big map map mm -hmm. uh, it's really it's really kind of cool yeah. the golf stuff was very intriguing too that's a that's a pretty important market if you can get executives on the golf course wearing that thing yeah yep, yep. And yep. I, I, honestly i mean uh apple watch and android wear do more at some extent you know there are third-party apps and all that kind of stuff but as far as the basics go uh and not just fitness stuff and time obviously and alarms and things like that uh, but also the basics like uh you know, Facebook and Twitter and um, messaging and mm -hmm. phone calls, email, calendar, that kind of stuff. It's all there. Yeah. And I, I would say this is a very credible alternative now to the major wearable platforms. And the device itself is beautiful. Yeah. You know? Still not waterproof, we should point out, because yeah. people have yeah. asked us that. It's not um, water resistant, right? Not, right. But not waterproof. Yeah. yeah. 
We'll see. I sweat a lot. We'll and and how well is it, is it going to work with non-Windows phones? Is it the Perfect. same? It's just the same. It's almost exactly the same. The only difference is some Cortana stuff is not available on iOS and I think on Android, although that could be changing because yeah. Android's getting Cortana. Now that it has yeah. Cortana, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. It's it's pretty much uh, an incredible experience across all the phone types. Battery life? It's, it's rated as exactly the same. They move the battery around. Uh, it's actually now kind of at the bottom part of your wrist, but it's uh, 48 hours. That assumes you're not using GPS. Obviously, if you use GPS, you're going to want to mm -hmm. charge the battery that day. Yeah. And you, of course, ordered one immediately, Paul? <laughs> Sure. I want to try one. I, you know, what? I didn't wow. want to try the first generation, wow, but Mary jo, I, I, wow. I'm like, you know, let's, I'll, let's I'll see. take it a step further. I will be using this. I mean, there's no. I might. Yeah. I might. Yeah. I was intrigued. I, I feel yeah. like uh, by focusing on fitness and doing that perfectly, they really and they have notifications. It's not that they don't have notifications. Yeah. But, oh, it's great. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like that that kind of is a big. How does the VO2 it, stuff work? Did you ask about the VO2 max hat? How does that? That can't possibly. The oxygen and the blood thing. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I yeah. didn't really get into that. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I don't know. No. Okay. Well, we'll as, find out. As far as notification. <laughs> but, it, but as far as are notification. Are you going back? Yeah. Why, are you still in New York? Because there's more? Why are you still no. in New York? I like New York, Leah. What do you mean? I live here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't feel like I have to explain myself. He actually wants to go to Rattle and Hum one more time. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, that's right. You had a meetup yesterday. How'd that go? <laughs> it did. Yeah, it was Very good. Fun. Good. Yeah. Yep. We had some good surprise guests show up. Yep. Yep. Panos Panay himself came mm -hmm. to the meetup. Yeah, French What? Show. What? Yep. Now, yep. he was a little um, amped up at the event. And I thought <laughs> maybe a little too many Red Bulls. Uh, so, uh, I, I saw right, so, Lance Yulinoff's uh, interview with him. He said he was kind of yeah. down. And I thought, I wonder <laughs> if he crashed. How was he at the event? <laughs> okay, so I, I think that there are two point of views maybe on Panos, right? Um, there, are, uh, there, Some people love his style and some people don't, you know. Yeah. And I'm coming around to the notion that this guy is the right steward for this stuff, is the right person to present it to the world. I felt that he mentioned the competition in ways that were not overtly silly. Like, you know, Tim Cook, yeah. who everyone loves, gentleman and everything, still yeah. has a way of saying stupid stuff like nobody wants to buy a toaster yeah. or a refrigerator. Yeah, you know, he yeah, still yeah. he still does that kind of Steve Jobs yeah. baloney. Yeah. Um, no, Panos is really, a lovable, fun... Yeah, I like his energy. Well, I don't, that doesn't bother I, I, me. What he reminds me of, and I, this is kind of a, a, a goofy comparison in a way, is Stephen Elop. And what I mean by that is he knows everything about this product. Yeah. You can, and you can tell he cares. He really he cares totally about cares. it. He, yeah. He's the guy... Yeah pushing the perfectionism that's in there, the, the quality of it, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, there is an interesting distinction, and you can go back and watch it and really see it. Uh, the Lumia stuff, which he kind of inherited when he got into his recent position, he's not as up on, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you move to Surface, all of a sudden he's a font of information. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I think it's going to be interesting to see how that evolves over the next couple it of will. years because, right. you know, now he's doing Lumia right. uh, as well. And all, really all the hardware, of course. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I, I really think he's, um, he's there for a reason, right? I mean, yeah. he, he clearly has made a, you know, he's in many ways, one of the last survivors of that Sanofsky era stuff. And I think the reason he's there is because the people, well, Satya Nadella primarily probably, uh, has really seen the value in him being the guy mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. do their hardware. I mean, yeah. I, so it's kind of incredible. Yeah, I think after he does a presentation, because he gets so amped up to yeah. do it, he does crash. Like A sugar crash. Yeah, because uh, I asked for him yesterday after the thing was over, and they said, he's recovering in the other room. Yeah. Like, he has to have some downtime, yeah. right? And yeah. Decompress. It's a big, he really, it, he gives it everything. It is a big deal for him. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'll just say, as somebody who's done a lot of, uh, a lot of presentations, it's just one word, Panos, pace yeah. yourself, just. <laughs> he does, yeah, he has a very interesting style. You know, he, he has, it's almost um, like he's confronting you a little bit. He'll say, uh, yeah, it's a little aggressive. You know, why, yeah. why, why would we do this? No, why would we why? do this? Why? Why? You know? Why? But he's, but yeah. you know, it is a little, it's infectious. His enthusiasm yeah. is, is genuine. Yeah, I, 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 he's yeah. clearly the right guy for it. Yeah. 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 Um, what do we have to say about? Let's, you know, what, I want to take a break here. I just want to try to space yep. this out because we have so much to talk about. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Plus, we got to tell you the Panos story. Yeah. Uh, there's awesome. lots, and how you got kicked out of breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm worried now. No, it's I, you're. Uh, 
think your legacy is is intact. <laughs> I don't think I... Uh, My legacy is uh, is not the best legacy. Is, so in a way, I would like you to polish it up a little bit. Hey, Leo, you're in or you're not in. I mean, yeah. uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Braintree. Paul Therott, Mary Jo Foley, and thanks. Who should we thank at CBS for the stunning set that you're on here? How do we want to do this? Rich Pulaski. Rich, what? Rich Pulaski. That's really your last name? No, no. It's a Brian Rich Roper. Pulaski. Thank you. Rich like, Pulaski gonna... is uh, Rich Pulaski is the guy, and is he a fan? Is that is that his? Uh... Why why is it's he so friend, nice? Friend, it's a friend of a friend. He's so yeah. nice to you. I, apparently, everything in life is about who you know, Leo. It's how you, I got into the hotel. Did you learn, learn that at the Yale Club? <laughs> well, I, it's so true, Polly. I, I did learn something at the Yale Club. You don't mind if I call you Polly now. <laughs> Our show today brought to you by Braintree Payments.com. We love Braintree. If you and you will love Braintree if you're a mobile app developer or if you're doing a um a uh, uh, website and you need payments, you need a payments solution, don't code it yourself. That's why I think people do try to, and that's why you have a 70% abandonment rate on mobile carts. People go, I don't know if I trust this. They just can't click that checkout button. But Braintree makes it simple. That's why Airbnb uses it. That's why GitHub, when you pay your GitHub bill, that's Braintree. Have you ever stepped out of an Uber free as a bird feeling like, wow, this is great. I didn't even have to pay for it. That's Braintree. Uber uses Braintree and Lyft uses Braintree. Everybody uses Braintree because Braintree is one easy integration, as few as uh, 10 lines of code, that, that will get you ready to accept every kind of payment. Android Pay, yes. Apple Pay, yes. Credit cards, PayPal, Venmo, even Bitcoin. I, I talked uh, a couple of uh, days ago with uh, Ankur Arya, the general manager for Braintree Mobile, and I asked him, about this V.0 SDK. That's the SDK you'll be using. And, 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 and uh, you know, we were talking a little bit about uh, Android Pay and, uh, and how V.0 makes it easy for you. Just listen. We effectively future-proof you against other wallets that become uh, important or the other wallets that we go do the integration with. So once you've done the V.0 implementation, if we integrate a new wallet or we offer a new wallet, you can enable that via your control panel and it's just a simple app update to your app let's say if you're running it on an ios app to enable that so very very transparent and seamless very easy to get going and you're not sort of re rewiring your app which is super critical it's you know it's the black box it's object oriented and the beauty of it is uh, well android pay just came along a couple of weeks ago it was as simple as going to your control your brain tree control panel checking the android pay box and now you got it I just think Braintree is just a no-brainer. Fast payouts, so there's, you know, I know you're thinking, well, what what could be the downside of this? Well, there isn't one. Fast payouts, great support. They'll even do the integration for you if you're too busy. From your first dollar to your billionth dollar, they scale beautifully. That's what they did with GitHub. Uh, you will see fewer abandoned carts. You will see more sales. You will see a secure solution that your customers trust, your users trust, and that's what you want. BraintreePayments.com slash Windows, a full-stack solution. Support for every payment type in the world. Easy integration across all platforms. Superior fraud protection. Great customer service. Fast payouts. I don't know what more to say. Your first $50,000 in transactions. Fee-free. How about that? Go to BraintreePayments.com slash Windows. Play with the sandbox. Give it a try. Show your boss. Show your coworkers. Whoever it is that needs to say yes, maybe it's you. This is the solution you've been looking for. Everybody else is using it. That just that should give you the confidence. BraintreePayments.com slash Windows. You're listening to Windows Weekly. Paul Therott and Mary Jo Foley. They are in New York City at the uh, at the uh, studios of uh, CBS Television. There in the in the audio booth, and we thank uh, CBS for their uh, support. I guess. And we are talking about. I guess <laughs> definitely know, something definitely. like that. And we're talking about, of course, the big event yesterday. What an exciting event uh, that was. It was I, good. I just there was, was so much. 
it was just like kind of overwhelming it when you when they finished the presentation they said okay go play with all the toys and it was like wow where do you start there's so much bunch stuff. of geeks bumping into each other yeah. you know oh, yeah. they, so they <laughs> had all the products there that you could touch they were all you know yep yep and and it wasn't like uh, under glass you could actually play with them no nope. yep you can do yeah this means this stuff is really ready in fact it's interesting because they said october 26 which yep. is the day the uh, New York store opens, right? Now we completely yes. coincidental. Yeah, now we know. <laughs> now we know. Right. Yeah. Yep. Should have should have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, let's talk about the City Man and the Talk Man. We now know 950 and 950 XL. There was was there anything that we didn't know? Right. So that, that that's the interesting bit, right? Yeah. Was there? No. no. <laughs> and, the, the old, and, and that's well, what. Well, thank I mean. you very much. Now let's move on. No, no. go ahead. Paul. Well, right. So you get through it. Well, you know they they announced the uh, you know the Continuum dock, the Microsoft yeah. Display dock, whatever they're calling it. Yeah. Uh, we knew all about that, and but we uh, didn't really know about like what that would look like. No, we had. Right? Did we? Yeah, Brad and I had pictures. Oh, you, of that. you guys did. Okay. I don't know if we ever posted it. We had them. But I didn't realize it would have all those different ports. Yeah. That no, it that's it, yeah, exactly yeah. as okay. expected. I, and you know. I, that was the moment in the presentation when I was like, man, we're going to be sitting there for 90 minutes, two hours, <laughs> and I feel bad. You know, I feel bad because they have got some cool stuff going on here. But, yeah. it got, you know, I, I, I will say the big thing about the phones was just finally getting them in hand. Yeah. And I think a lot of people who are Windows Phone fans and are maybe kind of clinging on the edge and they're not sure what they want to do, looked at some of those renders and they thought, man, those are cheap looking. They're kind of plastic mm -hmm. looking. Those cameras are nothing special. And I'm here to tell you, you are completely wrong about all yep. of that stuff. That's that's um, part of why, you know, yeah. going yeah. there is important. you got to feel that stuff. And I yeah. tried to, you know, uh, look, uh, you know, I've been very realistic about Windows Phone and what it can do in the marketplace. And I, that hasn't changed. But I've also, when you know, I see a lot of negativity in Twitter or comments, whatever, about the phones and the renders. And I've said to people many times, you wait till you see it before you mm. make any decisions there. And now having seen it, you'll agree, I yep. think. Um, very high quality, and they're really yeah. neat. I mean, and, and if you disagree, uh, you can pop off those backs, and you can put whatever they have. Third, oh, they were showing sure third-party oh, nice, backs, nice. different colors, different yeah. materials, yeah, uh, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, they they're what are they polycarbonate, right? Yeah, but it it didn't feel cheap. It yeah. didn't feel plasticky. It kind of almost felt like metal. To me. Yeah, there's yeah. a right? lot of things that you that yeah. polycarbonate give you. They give you a lightness. They give you, uh, frankly, it's it's durable. It doesn't get. And they are. They, they they're so light. They they feel like engineering yeah. samples. Yeah, this is do. something I experienced last year with the A30. Yeah. You you pick it up and you're like, really? I know. Especially yeah. with me with the icon, I picked up one of them and I'm like, is that like a real yeah. phone, like a working phone? It's, wow. Uh, yeah. In Lumia terms, <laughs> it, it, I would say these phones are about uh, 0.5 icons. <laughs> you know, as far as, far as the, the density and the yeah. weight. You know. But you also, yeah. with plastic, you get better antennas. Although I thought it was kind of funny that they talked about the tunable antennas, which, yeah. can, I, can I be frank, every phone has had for... <laughs> Yeah. Years. I mean, <laughs> Elio, if you're trying to break through the uh, the hyperbole that was occurring, I I think you're onto something. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the hyperbole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. that's one thing about Panos, though, right? He loves to talk about the internals and right, like right. here's yeah. how liquid we made cooling. This. Uh, you know, the yeah. XL's liquid yeah. cooling that they brought over but, from yeah. Surf. You know, I mean, and then uh, yeah. by plastic bag, that means you can do wireless charging, which is nice. In yeah. fact, that's something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Google's giving up on its new high-end phone because they have a metal right. back. Right. So right. I don't mind a plastic back uh, as no. long as it doesn't feel cheap. battery. Right. Oh, it has yeah, a removable really battery, replaceable battery. Both. Yeah, they oh, do. Nice. Oh, yeah. And a big SD card. He, I would love Panos saying, "What was it? Someday you'll be able to put <laughs> two terabytes two. <laughs> because because when those cards are available cheaply, you'll still be using a 950." Yeah, yeah. right. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Whatever. But yeah. Um. I, you know, I, I think. Um, and I will say, as far as the camera goes, I haven't uh, used one and taken pictures with it or tested it in any way meaningful, obviously. But uh, when you see 20 meg megapixels, you know anything about Lumia's, you know that the Lumia Icon, the 1520, the 930 all had 20 megapixel mm -hmm. peer view cameras. And you think, well, it's possible that they have not really advanced things since then. And we were told point blank, absolutely not. Yep. These are completely new cameras, completely new technology, completely new optical sensing, much better low light, on and on and on. And yeah. I'm very, very eager to test this because the the thing that I found in my experience with Lumia is, is that the 1020 had the best photos for a while. Mm. But with the uh, denim update in particular and the performance that you get from the newer phones, I found that the 930 Icon yeah. 1520 actually provided better photos mm. than the 1020 over time. And this has even improved past that. And so they, they have the chance to um, to really 
kind of compete, you know, with the S6s of the world, the iPhone 6 uh, S Plus, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we'll, you know, we'll see. I don't want to make any promises yeah. there, but I think it's going to be in that league and I think it's yeah. going to be good. Yeah. So the pricing was a little higher than some people thought. Those are the unlock prices though, right? Yeah, yeah, and they're still uh, better than most uh, flagship phones. Well, yeah. by, by two hundred dollars, right? right. Five forty nine, six forty nine for the larger model. Um, only, carriers only thirty two <laughs> gigs, though, right? Only thirty two gigs. Well, only thirty two, but with micro SD expansion, right? right. Okay. Yeah. A the carrier thing. Yeah. yeah. So AT and T, we hear not exclusive to AT and T, but, but AT and T at launch. AT launch. Um, T-Mobile, nothing. But it will work. It works. It, it works. Does, yeah, sure. it works. Okay, because yeah. today, if it works on AT and T, it will work on T-Mobile. It's not a question of whether it'll work. It's a question of will it support yeah. all the right. So, for example, if you're on Verizon, right? I don't know this for a fact, but it's possible that it would support one or two bands of, of right. Uh, right. Verizon LTE. But if you're in an area we only have uh, CDMA, yeah. you're going to be out of luck. I, I asked around about that a bit, and uh, one person told me that. Yeah, it, the LTE bands might work with Verizon, but you won't be able to do the handshake thing because you don't have the CDMA. Uh, so I think we're done on Verizon. I think so, too. I wow. think we're done. I was, I was basically told yeah. this in July. I mean, <laughs> you know, Microsoft's going to be working with the carriers that worked with it. And let's face it, Verizon was not one of those carriers. Yeah. And I I mean, I was basically told Verizon, so, yeah. you know. Wow. Yeah, one, one person said to me, hey, it's going to be a great Wi-Fi phone for you. Uh, uh. <laughs> It's so 550 uh, bucks for a Wi-Fi device. Yeah. I know. And yeah. the um, 915 XL really pretty much seemed the same except for screen size and the processor was uh, yep. 6-core yep. versus 8-core. But otherwise, uh, almost That's identical, true. right? Yep. Yeah. No fingerprint reader, but they're going to have the Hello camera. How accurate is that? How how good is that? So, I mean, all I can do is tell you what we've been told and that it looks excellent. And yeah. uh, pardon the pun. Was it um, fast? Yeah, super fast. Um, the only issue, I think, with the iris scan is going to be low light situations because it's infrared based. And I get, uh, no, I'm sorry, I got that the reversed. Opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah. So if you're out in bright sunlight, the infrared oh, light that comes out of the be, device might have be bright diffuse. Yeah. So yeah. you literally, do you, do you have to hold no, you don't, your phone? No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. It you, just, you, it's, you hold it like a regular It's not a retina system. scanner. <laughs> it's a, no, you hold it out normally. You okay. Just put it in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. It's so an it iris, but it is, an, it is looking at your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It works a lot like uh, Windows Hello does on a um, on a PC, but that is uh, facial recognition. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't mean technically it works the same. I mean, it's the same type of speed, Experience. the same type of okay. distance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's really uh, interesting. You know, I, yeah. I, I do feel like, you know, I'm not buying a phone that doesn't have fingerprint, but if, if this is as, as reliable, as, as secure as mm -hmm. fingerprint, that's fine. But mm -hmm. I think you yeah. now with payment systems and all so forth, if you don't have, I want a secure phone, and I don't want yeah. to have to enter in a long password. So this sounds good. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, what are some other uh, features we got? The well, I'd, I'd, I'd just, like to see the PureView brand back because I think that that's such an important um, yeah. yeah part Definitely of the PureView. Yeah. 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 yeah that, I, I think the two big differentiators on Lumia for now, for this generation, are going to be. Windows Hello, which is actually maybe not a, a huge differentiator, but a differentiator. And then Continuum, which is arguably a huge differentiator. Yeah. And Continuum lets you, uh, in this case, it's a wired dock. Yeah. Um, use it as if it were a PC. You can attach mm -hmm. a keyboard, a mouse, a display. And, uh, yeah. you, you know, when you use the mouse on the display and you open the start menu, what you see is the start screen from this phone and the apps that you launch on that screen launch on that screen. Mm -hmm. You can still use the phone as a phone. Yep. You can still launch apps on the phone and they launch on the phone. Uh, and, you know, you're running those Windows Universal apps. Right. You know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, uh, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the success of this is going to be based on uh, the apps, right? I mean, yeah. what yeah. happens there? Right. Yeah, I mean, I would run out and buy this. It looks like a great phone uh, at a great price. But if it doesn't have the apps, mm -hmm. Moxnix right. doesn't matter. This yeah. is always the uh, the stumbling yeah, block, unfortunately, mm -hmm. for Windows Phone. Yeah. A couple yeah. of questions uh, from the chat room. Does the do you need to? Chris Kez wants to know if you need to look directly into the face or the Hello camera. In other words, he says, can if I, it's on my dashboard, can I kind of look at it, and will that work? Or do you have to get? You probably have to get it right in front. I would guess. We don't. We don't really know. No, I mean, because yeah. we we haven't. You know, the, the demos they did, it really seemed like it would work. That you know. In the situation he's describing, it's kind of hard to say. Right. Yeah. You know, if you know how uh, the Kinect works on Xbox One, someone else can walk in the room and it will light up and say, hey, Stephanie, or hey, Mark, or whatever. 
uh, I don't know that the phone is going to be that I don't know either. accurate yeah. or whatever. I'm not really sure. Yeah. And then uh, Dallas wants to know if Continuum is going to always be tethered. Do you think they'll at some point be a kind of I guess a wireless? It's both. No, it's both. It is both. Oh, it is both. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to have the physical connection. Uh, the one they're selling does have the physical connection. There is wireless because they're actually supporting nice. wireless display. Oh, I think right. already. Oh, right. I think they're. Right. Okay. I forgot that. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's cool. It would be Bluetooth keyboard mouse. Yeah. Right. Bluetooth keyboard, um, Miracast, it, uh, or yeah, it be both. wireless yeah. display. Yep. Yeah, it can, oh, it can yeah. do both. Nice. Nice. Not available till November. We should point out. That was a yeah. cool. That was a cool demo, though. I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I love that, doing it. Was that <laughs> the hack? Was that hack guy? Was that Brian Roper doing that? Uh, it was. Yeah, he's good. Yep. You know, I found I out he was a. It was a, a lounge singer <laughs> on a cruise ship. He really was. Yeah. He really was. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sergeant was. Angel Batista needs to be down in Miami solving crimes, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But. He's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. You know, between him and Panos, uh, they've got a couple of show showmen. They, they have some characters. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's, yeah. you know, it's um, you gotta you, there's this all this stuff is very important for a company. It is almost you know this is a this is a company's best foot forward, and in a way it says we're fun. I think sure. it's why yeah. they started with Hololens and Xbox. Uh, mm -hmm. You because yeah. I always think of Microsoft as an enterprise company, as a business tools. Yeah. And this really seemed more about, hey, we want to be everywhere. We want you know what it is? It, it, yeah. It's really not about the difference between consumers and business users per se. It's this notion that people, and by the way, we, we should give Apple a little credit for this. I mean, they, they have established this sense of design and quality that people want for themselves no matter what they're using the product for. Yeah. yeah. And that it shouldn't, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, am I going to use it at home to, you know, browse the web? Am I going to use it at work for, you know, Excel or whatever? Yeah. Um, people really care about these devices. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a reflection on their own tastes and the things that they care about. And uh, yeah. I, I think the stuff that they announced across the board really speaks to that. I mean, I think that's the one consistent thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I love it that they put the Type-C connector on there and they're using it all, the bandwidth, the power. I mean, that's great. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I hope they lead the way with that. Um, uh, that I just, just has to be everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. except on surface, apparently. Aww. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, now we understand, and we'll get to that. But now we understand why they didn't abandon mm -hmm. uh, that those pogo pins. That connector was turns out to be, they had yes. larger mm -hmm. plans for that. A little yeah. more versatile than we knew. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's go to the Surface Pro Four. This was another thing we we pretty much thought they were going to announce. Um, yeah. Yeah. Any sure. surprises there? Yeah. Little ones, I mean. I mean, well, uh, you, uh, you probably remember right before the event, people were speculating it was going to have that smart frame thing, which was the bezel that could change in size. Some people were thinking that would happen. That did not happen. No. Instead, it got the thinner bezel. Slightly the smaller around. bezel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah giving um, it a 0.3 inch bigger screen without yeah. a bigger form yeah. factor. Uh, you have to think that they can go further with that, too. I think so. Right? Yeah, I would think. Yeah, it didn't look inch. like that small a bezel. I mean, no. I'm looking at my yeah. Dell, which is now obsolete, and uh, well, but your Dell is not a, but it's not a tablet, right? I mean, I, I yeah. think the, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how oh, far. Oh yeah, you, you know can. what? You're right, because you need something to hold. Yeah, on you need to. something, right? You need some yeah, ears. Well, so yeah, you can hold something. It. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You have to have something to yeah. grab yeah. Okay, onto. That's a good point. Um, so surprises. Um, oh well, I'll tell you what my. And most, <laughs> my biggest surprise, which is going to sound small until you think about how we use it, yeah. um, they they redid the keyboard for the Surface Pro again. Again, but now you know with the Surface Pros before, the keyboard bounced a lot when you had it up in the in the mm. kind of. Uh, arc. Well, you type very aggressive. I do type really hard, but now they laminated that keyboard, so it's really much much firmer, which is going to be great for people who do a lot of typing. Yeah. Uh, so that to me, it's was significantly like, yes. better. I mean, when needs right. to test it. <laughs> But just you could you yeah. can tell just looking at it, it's more like Much a real more laptop. Solid. It looks more like your keyboard. It does. Here. It totally yeah. does. Yep. So I, I thought that was good. Your um, glass trackpad. Yeah, glass yeah. trackpad, bigger trackpad, right? Yep. Um, still a twelve-inch size, right? Same form. Yeah, same yeah. basic form factor. It's thinner. Right. It's lighter, but yeah. the the frame of it is the same. Right. So we we didn't think they would vary the size of the device actually because they did promise um, last year that. Anything they built in the Surface Pro family going forward would work with the Surface Pro dock. Yep. So we knew it couldn't be really different in size because it's still like both the Surface Pro 3 and Surface Pro 4 have to be able to fit the dock. 
Yep. So and it, it, does. And it does. It does. Yep, it does. Honestly, I think the coolest things about it were not so much the device itself, although, you know, it's right. the, the expected Skylake and yep. Proven and all that stuff. Yep. Um, were the type cover that you mentioned. Yep. And the dock, the new dock, which is really just a little... Um, a box that yeah. connects now to what they're what are they calling it? Surface Connect connector. Yeah, I think is the name of it, and which is the power port, yep. right? But the coolest thing is, look, you're a Surface Pro three user, right? Microsoft has just uh, semi <laughs> made your machine, uh, you know, uh, obsolete. Yeah, the new stuff all works with your device too, so that that compatibility you're talking yeah. about goes backwards. Right, that's right. And the the Surface Pro four has a Windows Hello compatible camera. When Surface Pro 3 does not. Yeah. And so you can buy a version of the new keyboard, the new type cover, that has a fingerprint reader yeah. on it. And so you can do Windows Hello with that. And if you have a window, you know, if you have a Surface Pro 3, obviously you get the Windows 10 upgrade for free. Yeah. And get the new type cover, I think 150 or $170. I yeah. can't remember how much it was. I think 150 Is that what? I don't remember. Yeah, but um, it's in there. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's the type of thing that is really cool for people because these devices are expensive. And for a little bit of cost, that's you can true. get... Some of them, you know, really neat stuff yep. uh, that is only would otherwise only be available on the new machine. Yeah. Oh, no pen loop anymore. Oh, right. Actually, Paul, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna, it's going to take me a couple of days to completely it digest is. this. <laughs> I, 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 I try, I tried to get a statement from Microsoft about compatibility with pen loop. <laughs> the new pen, and whether whether it would make sense. <laughs> For me to go to the local Microsoft store and maybe stock up on pen loops uh, in case they're going away. You might get, like, overstock. Like, just get a giant box of them. They're expensive, Mary Jo. They I are. Just, I know they are. They're not going to stop no, selling them, are they? Yeah, I think. Oh. Well, I mean, eventually. But, eventually. Um, eventually. So, you know, stock up is what I'm saying. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I mean, I'll, I'll do extensive compatibility tests. I believe... <laughs> That the new pen will work in the old will surface it? pen loop. Whoa. I think so. Well, there are five new pens, right? Five but you won't need a loop because it's a magnet. That's right. It's Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it just kind of stays so, along the side. Is it a strong um, magnet? Because I'm really nervous about it. it. By the way, it is the force of a sun. I mean, are you kidding? You, no, have you, did you see how strong I did, it was? I couldn't. I just had it kept falling off. Oh, I I, you bring, <laughs> I brought it to within an inch and it sucked right oh, onto the really? side of it. it was, well, it has, believe... one side is flat, right? It you almost have to make seems, sure the flat side It almost seems dangerously thing. strong to me. Oh, right? really? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No, I want it that way. Just don't swallow like your you. Surface Pro 4. Like those uh, right. science fiction movies <laughs> where there's a giant magnet and everything goes flying toward it really yeah. fast. It was like that, you know. It was, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and there's five colors of pens. There's different tips for the that's, pens. I, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so if you're an artist, yeah. obviously, you can have like a felt pen tip. Mm -hmm. or, that seems yeah. great. That's, that, that does seem yeah. great. Yeah. And uh, actually, they've gone back to the way tablet PCs used to be. When you flip the pen around, get the tip, the eraser tip I is love an that. eraser, you know, yeah. which is what it, it should have always been. And that's a no that little knock on Apple also because their was. pencil doesn't have an eraser. Right. <laughs> and our pen does. Our Suck pen it up. Does, uh, <laughs> So yeah. does it stick anywhere, or does it stick only, the magnet only work in a certain part of it? Because I'm looking at a picture here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it goes up it looks here like I thought, it, I thought it was the two sides. Yeah, the two sides, I think. Like not the top? I'm not really I, sure. Well, see, uh, here's yeah. this picture. See, it looks like it's sticking. No, look at that. Well, no, it also has no, that. that yeah. Oh, that's the that clip. Sort of that's the just clip. a clip. Oh, There's a clip okay. still. Right. Yeah, on the Yeah, pen. you could do that today with Surface yeah. Pro 3 if you wanted to. Oh, I was yeah. so but you wouldn't. You wouldn't because we have a Surface Pen Loop, and that's what... That's what it's for, people. That's what it's for. I know. just don't want to lose it. I really don't want to lose it. And I feel like that's no. the... That's the well, risk. actually, okay, this is an interesting bit I don't actually have a handle on. Um, they're talking about... They don't have rechargeable batteries anymore. If what? I'm not mistaken... They said one-year battery life on the pen. I on the thought, pen, yeah. But I yeah. thought what he meant by that was, you use this for a year... The battery dies, you throw it away. No, oh, really? you put a no. new battery in, you nitwit. But he said it wasn't rechargeable. No, he but did. you put oh, a so, battery in. Oh, just a regular battery. No, you just battery. get a battery. It's one of those, this is how they used to do it. Some You must yeah. remember Wacom, some of, not all, but some of the Wacom uh, tablets. Yeah, so. You'd unscrew it, and there were these little oh, yeah, no, weird but, batteries you'd drop into it, like the... Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. sorry. You can't throw it away. That would be wasteful. Sorry, I, I was so focused on the lack of a Surface Pen Loop that I think I... Kind of blacked out a little bit there. See, here's a. Yeah. What stylus is this? This is beautiful. That's the Surface 3 pen. Oh, it's the Surface 3 pen, which also unscrews and has. Yeah. But the old yeah, pens yeah. still Low work battery. with the new Surface, right? Uh, actually, I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh. Now remember, the the they have a new screen technology they're calling Pixel Sense. Right. That's for both pen and touch. Yeah. It, if for in order for the old pen to work or vice versa, 
it would have to. Oh, but they bought the company. Or did they buy they, the? They, did they buy Intrig. Intrig. Okay, they maybe they will. Intrig. I yeah, we'll need did. to test that. Uh, that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. So is this a an evolution of Intrig? I believe so. I guess it would. Okay, yeah. that would make sense. Okay, okay. You know, this is kind of fog of war stuff, Leo. We're still. No, um, I understand. I understand. You know, reeling a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Rum Donald Rumsfeld's on his way to help you out. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, stuff happens. There's That's things we saying. know, there's things we don't know, and there's things yeah. we don't know we don't know that we uh, know. You know, Demo democracy is messy. It's That's messy. <laughs> That's messy. Uh, 1.73 pounds. I loved the demo, uh, the incredible demo of the uh, staff program. What was that? The the music program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That is, I mean, take that, Apple. Uh, that's right. Sure. That's a shot across iPad yep. Pro's uh, bow, right? Yep, yep. Now, this pen isn't, a, it doesn't do like the pencil the ed, the, where you do the little edge and the shading and the thing. Oh, no, it does all that, sure. It does? Yeah, yeah, it always has, yep. Oh. And in 1,024 points of pressure, that's good. Yep. Nice. Does it come with a pen? Uh, no. It does. It does. It does. It does. Yes. Okay. Yep. Is that new or yeah, did the, the Surface 3 Pro come with a pen? The, all the Pros always have. Oh, they always the pro have. Okay. The Pro device but always not has. the keyboard. Yeah. You have to buy the keyboard separately. That is correct. Right. Because, you know, multiple colors, you have a choice of colors. <clears throat> well, right? I mean, no, right. you're laughing. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's well, why. But, okay. Uh, yeah. So I, I, here's another thing I've not looked into. If you go to service.com and you look at how to buy these things, they're selling bundles now. And I think the bundle is a way to say, here's the real price, you know. You want? I'm over on 14. If you can hear me, if you're ready. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, voice of God. There. Um, <laughs> was, is that your pizza? Is it ready now? Is that what they're yeah, doing? We, okay. we got to go. Dinner's ready, Leo. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Regis <laughs> wants to use the studio. <laughs> can yeah. you leave? Now you're saying the bundles now. So, so they're showing you more of the real price I think because so. they're I showing so. you the keyboard, which you're most likely going to get. You I don't think have so. To, I but. think I didn't look into it a lot. I've been kind yeah. of busy, but uh, I think that's what it is. Yeah. So yeah, Surface Pro 4 looks good. It's, okay. it's evolutionary good. more than revolutionary. Okay. But there is one more thing. Wait a minute. Before the one more thing, let me take mm. a break. I am so excited. I can't stand it. I feel like Panos Panay. <laughs> <laughs> Really Why? Because the one more thing you said, Why? There, you said there would be one more what? thing. Why would and there you be were one right, more thing? And you were right, right. and it was nothing anybody had teased at all. Why? That's, that's not true. I had this. You had this story. I, I, what I, I got it. I wasn't one hundred percent sure of the source, you and so I tweeted it? it. You I, tweeted. I, I, did, it. I tweeted. What, what was your tweet? Fourteen-inch surface, um, two-in-one Nvidia graphics in the base. And oh, ports. you did. Um, yeah. Oh, you did. You, had, you nailed it. Paul Therat. Well, no, I... I you yeah. are the champion, my friend. But I have a story from Pano Spinea about this. That's coming up. But first, a word from Linda.com. We all know you. You listen to these shows because you're a smarty pants. No, you are. People who listen to our shows are smarter than the average bear. And one way, they, one of the reasons they're smarter than the average bear is they listen to this show and other shows, and they like to learn. They fill their minds. They don't just sit there watching cartoons. They want to learn. And that's why lynda.com is such a natural match for Windows Weekly. lynda.com is for people like you, problem solvers. People who are curious, people who want to make things happen, people who uh, just, you know, love doing things, even as a hobby, not even for work. Maybe you want to develop an app. I mean, even if you're not a coder, learning how to code, it's the best darn hobby ever. It keeps your brain active. It's challenging. And you get something great afterwards. Redesign your website. Master Excel. You know, all these things can be for personal or for, for business. Uh, in fact, speaking of business, uh, lynda.com has some great uh, soft business skills courses like negotiating a raise. I'm not kidding. Creating your resume, um, team building, lots of great stuff. If you, uh, I'm a photographer. I use lynda.com for photography all the time. It's a, a great place if you're just starting out or you're an expert and you want some help with certain programs. They have uh, two new courses for beginners, Introduction to Photography and getting started with photography. There's also uh, their five-day photo challenge, which I love. This will help you improve your composition skills. There's new courses on, you know, for the more advanced, on color correction, uh, using Adobe Camera Raw to make selective adjustments, mastering curves in Photoshop. That's, you know, you you learn curves in Photoshop, you, you get, you know, you got a real edge. 
fundamentals of Photoshop if you're just starting out. And this is not, you know, Photoshop 4. This is Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015. In fact, that's one important point. When uh, companies come out with new software, they work with lynda.com to make courses before the software comes out. So very often, a new, you know, the new Final Cut will come out, the new Premiere will come out, and, and the same day, you'll have new courses showing you how to use it. lynda.com. I'm just going to... You're going to love this. More than 3,000 on-demand video courses. They've got written transcriptions. You can search right to the part you want. Or if you're one of those completist types and you like to watch beginning and end, you can do that too. Because the way it works, you pay one low monthly uh, price and you get access to everything. You don't have to choose up front. It's not like college where you have to choose a major. You don't. You can you can major in everything at lynda.com. Uh, and... I. Look, here's the deal. We're going to give you 10 days free. So you get the run of the place. You'll get an experience. It'd be like if you're a subscriber. You get everything, all the courses. That's enough time to take a whole course. Or, by the way, the teachers are many of our friends, people you see on this network, people like Burt Monroy. I mean, learning Photoshop from Burt Monroy, you don't get better than that. Uh, so 10 days free, lynda.com slash windows. That's all we ask. Go to that website. That way they, they, Paul and Mary Jo will get the credit for it. lynda.com slash windows for your free 10-day trial you're gonna love it i'm telling you and uh you know it's a good way to get a better job a lot of businesses have lynda.com subscriptions we do for their employees lynda.com in fact ask the boss will you pay for my lynda.com it'll make me better at my job paul therott mary joe foley mm -hmm. wow 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 i was you know I, I you know it's it's funny you really see why apple tries to keep everything secret because when when stuff leaks yeah. out it takes the steam out of announcements like that that's for sure uh and i love it that panos panay said you know in, a, in tongue in cheek but he said would you guys stop doing that he acknowledged <laughs> it which yeah, by the way sure. no one ever does i think that was really cool that shows him to be a genuine authentic person so uh can you put some cream in that coffee or whatever that is <laughs> or whatever that is well, Mark brings it in and says it's, uh, it might be a little strong really we are. forgot to take the tea bag out and it looks it's black like coffee a little little cream maybe to... no no just cream <laughs> sorry I got distracted <laughs> um, uh, so I loved how they did this by the way showmanship A plus because they showed it mm -hmm. As a laptop, we're talking about the new Surface Book. First yep. laptop ever from Microsoft. They showed so it as a laptop, is... and then he said, hmm, you know, look at this a little more closely. He showed the video again. Wow. So here's the thing. I, Like I said, I'd gotten that leak, and I'd put part of it on Twitter. I shared it with Mary Jo and with Brad, and, you know, I was like, I'm not, you know, Brad's like, you got to write this up. And I'm like, I'm not writing a post about this. I'm not, you know, I, don't, I just you don't just know. don't trust the source. And um, anyway... They're show, you know, they have the new device. I'm clear, I'm like thinking clearly, this is the thing I got, and but it's a laptop, and the thing I was talking about was a two in one, and yeah. and there was a, a discrete graphics in the base, an extra battery in the base, and I'm like, man, this is not what I was shown. I'm, I was really doubting this, you know, and then they did the video again, and I'm like, oh, you bastards. <laughs> and so the funny thing is, I got to tell that to Panos Panay, and he said, yeah, we did that specifically for you guys, <laughs> you know, because he, he knew like, there was a leak. He's like, do we have time to change this video so that we do it no. two different ways? No. Yeah. And, <laughs> and and it was really kind of cool because I, it was just interesting. It was just funny, you know, and he, uh, we I, we have a rich history of leaking surface stuff. And, and this. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> and this, uh, this generation of surface was not as leak worthy. And when one finally came, I kind of doubted it, you know. And uh, it was funny that they were that on, uh, you know, on the game enough to, you know, make a, a second version of the video. I was so glad. I had to move seats during the event because I couldn't get connectivity. So I moved way back because if I had been staying in the seat I was in, when they showed a laptop, I think I would have jumped out of my seat and like yelled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, the Acer, I, the your, your Acer's getting old. My Acer's getting old, and I never really loved the Surface mm -hmm. Pro because I couldn't put it on my lap not like this. So. Do have, she has nope. tiny legs. Tiny it's legs. That. Did he <laughs> look at you every time he said lapable, by the way? Yeah. Yes, he did. He. Oh, by the way, guys. I didn't tell you this. What? He almost said we almost codenamed this, this device, Mary Jo. No. I no, know what the codename was. What is it? Hera. Well, Hera? 
Yeah. It would have been so cool <laughs> if they'd made it here, Mary yeah. Jo. Oh, that my God. Been cool. Because la he, cause a lot of people give him crap about the laughable thing, not Especially the least of which is me. you. And, uh, yeah, they yeah they wanted to make, they made a device that was laughable by anybody. Yeah, even me. Even legless Joe over here. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, but I see you holding the uh, S7 in your lap. I can hold this just fine in my lap. And so I went over and I picked it up and I said, wow. I, I said to Panos, finally, you made me a laptop. And he laughed. He goes, yep, we yeah. did. I have to say, I immediately ordered it. I mean, I was you did? I did. Oh. Well, let me tell you something. This is a cool device. I was blown it, away. My, my, my initial, th you know, they have that kind of uh, L-shaped hinge. And I, I, in the video, I was thinking, like, that hinge is weird. Do you mean that snake-like Yeah, I didn't, I don't know what I... It I, looks I a little, my, uh, like, and this is my question for you, because you touched, is it ugly in person when it's closed? No. No, it's no, beautiful. No, but some people were saying, oh, man, I think this is the ugliest laptop. Yeah. It's I like a clothespin. Like I it, like it. Right. So in the video, I thought the same thing. And I thought, what's this going to be like when you stick it in a bag? And, yeah. and is it going to be weird that you can yeah. kind of see through it and stuff falls in there? And and why couldn't they have closed it all the way? Yeah, on and on and on. But you know what? You you you, you use it and you touch it and you look at it and you think, oh, this is actually really neat. It is. And, why uh, why do that, though? Why the articulated hinge? I mean, couldn't is that I, just I, for show? I know the answer. I, so go ahead. You go. I know the answer. Okay. Okay. Um, so if you did not have that kind of a hinge, if you just open the laptop because it, you know, it's got some weight in the top, some in the bottom, the thing would just tip over. Yeah. So, well, yours actually doesn't go back that far either. No. So, but if you could open this further, right? And and you know, remember the guts of the thing are in the top. Yes. There, there's more battery in the bottom, and there's ports in the bottom. But the the processor, some battery, uh, some graphics, you know, the RAM, all that stuff, uh, the storage is all in the top, and that it can be heavy, you know, com comparatively. So you have to have a, a, a sort of balance, right, and weight between the top right. and the bottom. And so when you open it, it kind of is like uh, opening in slow motion almost. So it's changing your footprint as you're opening oh, it. Oh, that's to interesting. Keep it more stable. You so know, you don't, you're not going to. And go, that's Whoa. especially oh, true for a touch one, screen sorry. because yeah. if if you know if you're just typing, maybe you can keep the laptop stable. But as soon as you touch it, it goes flopping over. So right. this and this it, this is really important. Yeah, it's the reason that the, well, not the reason, but a reason that the existing Surface devices today have had a kickstand. You need something to prop it in right, the back. Right, And in this case, they're just using the natural balance of the device. And, and yeah, I mean, you, if you, you know, you sit there with the, you can't see me, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> when you, um, if you were to tap the, you know, the top of it, um, you know, like this, you know, it moves a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of like that. It doesn't, you know, just flop over. There's some right. two and ones I've had. There's you a can, little give Yeah, to it. you can touch it as like, pfft, it just falls over. Yeah. It can't go all the way down. Neither can this laptop. Right. But what you can do is flip the well, screen around. Yeah, oh, actually it doesn't. I didn't want to bend your no. thing. Um, <laughs> with, with the, oh, that's, a, uh, that's a feature that Acer sells on that S7 on. Yeah, is that got, I, don't, I don't know good. why you would want it like that. I don't know well, I can, what that I, does. I can, say why. I can show you why. Um, but actually, lay, lay it flat now, and stand it up on your lap now so it's facing you. That's what you can do on a plane when the person in front of you puts the seat <laughs> over. And if you just want to use it to watch a movie. Really? Yeah, it works great. Really? Yeah. Okay. Or you can use it as a whiteboard. Mm -hmm. so I never understood you... why they wanted it to lie that flat, but you can. No, so. The new one, you can't push all the way back. If, no. it, if the screen no, flipped around the... like it went upside it down, no, no, I mean, if like um, the picture flipped around, then you could say like that's a show me mode. Well, I'm uh, sorry to keep grabbing this thing out yeah, of your hand, but uh, if, you, if you were to take this device and flip the screen all the way around, turn it upside down, the keyboard's on the bottom now. And so on the, on the Surface Book, you take the screen off, flip it around, the keyboard's always on the top. It's never on the bottom. Yeah, I yeah. really hate. I really hate convertibles where the keyboard's on the bottom. It's like, come on. A lot of, a lot, yeah, a yeah. lot of people do. It's terrible. So this doesn't do that. No. No. Oh and man, there's so many reasons. Is the screen as beautiful as it looks? I mean, it's a. It's yeah. three thousand by two thousand. It's it awesome. It's three by two, and I, the way they describe it is, it's the width of a thirteen-inch laptop, but it's the height of a fourteen-inch laptop. And so it give it's kind of a weird size. It's sort of rated at thirteen point five inches, yeah, it but it's it maintains that three by two Surface Pro. I, I have one thing. other laptop like that. It's the Chromebook Pixel, right? And it's a first weird, and then you come to love it, but especially you, you if you're all, working yeah. with pages. A page, it's, right. it's, it's it, as he said, an A four page makes right. a lot of sense. Yep, three two is fine with me. The resolution is stunning. Yeah, I think the specs they, are all high end. I mean, yeah. it's, they it, are, and that's the thing. If you if you go through the list of stuff, you know, the band, 
the Windows phones and the two Surface devices, all of these things share a, a premium nature. These are not, you know, what's with the big complaint for the past year? Microsoft puts out one garbage phone after mm -hmm. another. It's all mm -hmm. the slow end mm -hmm. stuff. It's all, they're barely differentiated from each other. Uh, this stuff is not that. It's all very high end premium stuff. And, he, you know, they're very clear that this is, you know, they know they're not going to outsell uh, the Dells and the HPs and even the Apples of the world. That's not the point. It's to have a business that is aspirational, that does earn a profit, right? And and establish those kind of niches for themselves. But it leaves lots that, of room for the OEMs. There's it no. Does. And that's, yeah. That was what I finally realized is by doing a, a and this is by the way not cheap. Uh, oh by, no! By doing a high, you could end, spend you could spend twenty seven hundred dollars. Yeah. If you so, get the top of the line yeah. i i seven. Yeah. I ended up spending. Um, I wanted an i7. I uh, I couldn't. Bring, I assume you, you wanted discrete graphics, right? Yeah, and I couldn't bring myself to spend twenty seven hundred bucks yeah, for yeah, yeah. a 21, five, 20, twelve 20. gig and sixteen gigs of RAM. Wow. So I bought the next one down. So I don't know. I don't know if this is on the website anywhere. But one interesting little fact about this is that it's what do they call it? like an eighty twenty type device, right? Yes. So there's battery in both sides of this, yeah, right? It's weird, huh? It, it's a laptop first, and so it's. I don't think it's exactly eighty percent, but let's say seventy percent or sixty-five percent of the battery and the battery it's power in the is in the base. Oh, it was in the base. Yes. Oh, because it's because it's laptop first, right? So I think with the with the if you detach the tablet, the tablet by itself it's probably only gets got three, four hours. They said four hours. Yeah, yeah three, four, by itself. four hours. It's not a yeah. lot of time. And then the rest of the twelve, the eight, is in the base. So it's. I guess it would be sixty-five thirty-five, mm -hmm. um, essentially. Mm -hmm. Twelve hours is stunning. Let's see. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Have they yeah. historically overestimated battery life? Well, that's the continuous video playback, right? So yeah, when I yeah, use, yeah. like, this machine that I bought, I it, I think they said this was supposed what, to have what, 10 what, hours. What would you describe the notepad uptime of this laptop? Um, uh, this, well, you know, <laughs> Twitter kills everything. Yeah, yeah. Running Chrome kills everything. Oh, Chrome kills everything. Right. Uh, so I, I want to see in real-world situations where you're using it putting it away, using it again, yep, and, you yep. know. Uh, we'll need to test it. We will. It may not be 12 uh, hours, but 12 hours is a higher spec. That it's, is. It's not going to be two hours. So no, it's going to be, you. you know, maybe it's eight hours, but it's still going to be a lot longer. Well, yeah, so let, let's see. I mean, uh, the Surface Pro 3, I want to say that it's probably rated at nine hours. Probably. And I think the new Surface Pro 4 is the uh, same, I yeah, think. I think so. Um, Real-life battery on uh, Surface Pro 3, I'm, uh, off the top of my head, I could be completely wrong, but I think for me, I think it came in six, seven hours, mm -hmm. somewhere in that time frame. Yeah. Depending on usage. Um, so. so do you, you know, they were cagey about the GPU. So let's talk about the GPU because they talked yes. about it, but you don't get it in the base model. No. That's right. It's optional. Right. Which, by the way, was part of the rumor I got. You know, yeah. it's like optional NVIDIA, you know, GPU in the base. And I was like, that sounds crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You only uh, have the uh, the i7 or the i5 in the, in the lid. Yeah. So yes. when you detach the iPad, you lose the GPU. But they were clear about that. And, but you have way, to get you just, the you, Leo. Leo, yeah. sorry, you just called it an iPad, and, <laughs> and I did, really? secondly, did I? Yeah. So, um, I mean, the Surface Book. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you understand yeah, the confusion? Yeah. They compared after, it directly after, to a MacBook. Leo, after the show, I'm gonna have to ask you to do three Hail Marys and two Our Fathers. Okay, <laughs> um, I will. But forgive, the other thing that's me, Polly, for I have sinned. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that's interesting about it is um, this is a power user device. There's no i3. There's no M3. Right. Uh, we did. We did. We we skipped this. By the way, I should mention. Starts with the i5. The the Surface Pro 4 comes in an, uh, a Core M3 processor, oh. uh, which is the low end version. By the way, that's fanless, and so it's only four gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage, I believe. Uh, but there is a, I think, the 899 model on the Surface Pro 4. That's okay with me. You know, I have the MacBook, which is a Core M. It's not. It's not horrible. Uh, yeah. I'm just. I, I know a lot of people have been asking for a fanless mm -hmm. Surface Pro. That's the way to do it. The other thing they're doing on Surface Pro, I think we should mention that we forgot, is they're keeping Surface Pro 3 in market, 200 bucks less. Oh. Uh, so you know, now they have a nicer range of devices yeah. from Surface 3, Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, and then of course the. I'll tell you the right. thing that kept me off the Surface is I really wanted a keyboard. I didn't want a, a detachable fabric-y <laughs> keyboard. You are, yeah. You are yeah. not alone. No. I no. wanted a laptop, and Microsoft's right. never made a laptop, and that's why Mary Jo went through the agony of figuring out what her Windows laptop was going to be. You chose well. That's the one I uh, had. I had, love the Dell uh, XPS 13, which I have right now. Mm -hmm. um, but, oh, sweet miss. I feel like... <laughs> If you're going to do, as Microsoft's done, they put a lot of effort into making a touch operating system. 
something yeah. Apple's not going to ever do. OS X will not have touch. I, I'm convinced. Yeah. Um, if you're going to do that, then you really need to make a laptop with touch. And right. I, you know, the Dell does that. It was, but and by the way, touch is it does add to the cost. Leo, well, when they when they played the second version of the video where the screen detached from yeah. the base, did you lose it a little bit? I did. <laughs> like, I like did. I, I. Uh, from I did because a did. thank you I was right <laughs> no I shouldn't say I was right I got the right my my source was correct um, but it was you know it was it, it was funny because till that moment I was totally doubting myself in fact when he said we're gonna play the video pay attention this time I I literally thought not oh good now they're gonna show us the real thing I thought man you're really milking this thing you're gonna show the same video again <laughs> I know I, I did too I, was, I had that weird I was actually like, Why? Yeah, I was actually a little upset you know. <laughs> And when they when that screen popped off, I was just like, "Thank you," you know. So and by nice. the way, I mean this uh, memory wire. What a smart idea! Uh, electrically activated, so the keyboard has a button. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. To, mm -hmm. That is electric. It's not a physical button. It's an electronic right. button that re releases. Yeah, latch. it's like a motor. It's a motor of some kind. Of and thing. and the and the click is fake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like the engine sound in a Miata. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, like, it's like generated by a computer. You know, right. the click is fake, but, but that makes sense. Have, you know, because right. you want when you, know. you when you detach it, you also have this software prompt that comes up if you're running an application that's going to need to close or save. Mm -hmm. It's a little prompt that comes up in the corner. It says, "Hey, you're about to take the top off this thing. Are you ready?" Did oh. you, did you, ah. Which is great. They call it Bourbon Street mode. <laughs> <laughs> you're about to take your top off. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! I just, that's, that's it's been there. a long day. He went there. Yeah. He did. Okay. Uh, so, if a couple of people have asked me about the Nvidia processor in this thing because yep. it yeah, doesn't have any. It? Yeah. So it's a custom Nvidia chip that Microsoft worked with them on and had them make. That's part of the Maxwell line, but it's not any off-the-shelf right. Nvidia product it's something that they built custom for microsoft can you give an equivalency i mean do we is it a 970 or what is it i don't right? know i don't know it's accelerated right <laughs> <laughs> Woo. i don't know yeah i what what made me excited about how they divided the lineup here is there's okay there's some without the nvidia processor that's for people like me who need to run notepad really fast <laughs> yep and then it's for the people <laughs> who want to run cad and photoshop and visual studio you and some of these other pro programs that need more powerful chips you may need graphics processors you'll have a, another set of machines that will be for you so i'm glad they took me into account when they Devise the line of Surface Books. Uh, do you think yeah. you'll ever use the clipboard mode, Mary Jo? Very rarely. Um, Would you say twenty percent of the time? <laughs> Maybe. Please say twenty percent of the time. <laughs> Maybe twenty percent. I don't. You know, I don't know because for so long I used paper and pen, and I took all my notes on paper, handwriting them. Then I finally weaned myself and started taking notes on my laptop by typing. So now I'm like, do I really want to go back to right, a pen? Right. Right. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't know what, what I would use it for, really. Well, you flip it around and use it in OneNote mode. I think that might kind of be interesting. Kinda you are a one huge note. OneNote user. I kind of so. hate OneNote. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I, have, Sorry. I haven't been paying attention. Sorry, Chris Pratt. It's too, it's too elaborate, right? It's too much. It's overkill. It's just overkill. Yeah. No, no, no notepad. It just kind of solves all my needs. Yeah. How can I recommend to Microsoft that they remove Notepad from Windows? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's you're so using a you're cruel. using a Notepad-like product. I saw you use that this week. I don't know what you're talking about. That was markup, markup pad. Or Mark something? pad, yes, yes. Whatever that thing is. Markdown pad. Yeah. Markdown pad. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about the uh, power supply. It would have been nice if they had made this a Type C device yes why but because yeah. it's the same port for the dock right oh that's why yeah. so you can pass through power right. to the dock yeah it, it, the, actually the the one weird thing well the one weird thing, the, i think the hinge is a little weird but the one of the weird things about the surface book is that power connector did you see how big it was yeah it's kind of a it's a black rectangle it's, right it's very small. it's about an inch and a half it is you know and it, it it, well, I mean, it's not it's like the thing that you plug in here is tiny. Oh, right. That True. thing is a huge well, plug. Well, I guess uh, I was thinking of the Surface original. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not like a big brick, but yeah. it's but it's interesting. You know, and it, I, I just think there's a lot more going on hmm. with that stuff. You know, the connector that they have on Surface Book is completely different from the 
uh, what are we calling it? The cover connector, I think is the term for the Surface Pro devices and Surface 3. Right. Uh, it's a different connector. It, you know, it has to be, right, for the right. unique hinge. But the, the it, that pass-through, that power port, it's got to be, a ba I mean, it obviously is based on the one from Surface Pro 3. Right. But it's improved in some ways, I would imagine. I'm not really 100% mm -hmm. sure. I mean, we need, you know, we need to get these things and, and really look at them. But uh, of course, we, we were running around like kids on Christmas morning um, f for most of the past 24 hours. So, PCIe SST, that's good. Uh, you want to see that? Yep. yep. Uh, 267 pixels per inch. That's awesome. With 10 point multi touch, 10, 1,024 points of pressure on the pen. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we should talk about the weight of the thing. So, yeah. um, when it's just the tablet without the base, it's uh, 1.6 pounds. That's the top, right? Yeah. And then uh, when you have the base connected, if you have the model without the GPU, it's slightly lighter. It's um, just like 3.2 yeah, pounds. Yeah. And then the, with the full thing, it's 3.5 pounds. Yeah, which may be why, why they're kind of calling it a laptop. Right. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's terrifically heavy. No. no. Uh, and certainly if, you know, most people, you travel, you throw the thing in your bag and mm -hmm. it's probably not. Would you want the dock? Me? No. It seems like it has enough ports that you don't really need the extra. Well, I mean, if you're using it in a dock situation where you bring it to work bring or, to you know, work, you have yeah. home right. office. and right. yeah. I just love, by the way, does that that doesn't have a price yet on it. Does it surface dock? Let me see. Pre-order. <laughs> Let's see. 200 bucks. Well, nice. it's, still, it's still pretty expensive. Yeah. But um, I just, I really like the profile of that thing. And it's, it's a lot like, you know, some of the PC makers that have nice docking uh, solutions like Lenovo and HP do something like this where they have the proprietary connector, goes into the side of the device, right. and it lets them pump a lot of different stuff through there. And this this one supports two side-by-side -side mini display ports. Right, I see that. You could do chaining on the old one, but mm -hmm. you really had to have exactly the right kind of monitors and everything, and now they just have two ports. It's really uh, kind of a cool thing. And by the way, you know, and again, it works uh, backwards too, so you can yes. use it with Surface Pro 3. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll have to think about that. I already spent enough money on this thing. <laughs> well, if you're not going to use it with a big monitor, it, yeah. yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah I, I do think I'll use the clipboard mode. I think it's interesting that they call it clipboard mode too. By the way, that's um... well. I think there's, you know, in other words, we can't pretend this is a piece of paper, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's something bigger than that, and it yeah. is a large. It is. It's you know you, when you hold it like that, it's you know in the portrait mode. Looks big. It does look big. It's it it is big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can order now and it ships October 26th, right? So yep. I should have yep. mine uh, sometime a couple of weeks from now. I'm looking forward to it. And it'll be running. It won't be Threshold uh, 2. It'll be a Threshold. It'll be the original Windows 10, I presume. I would think so. You know, uh, Windows 10 is um, never finished, Leo. <laughs> yeah. Windows 10 Professional on this one. Yeah. And it's great. Pro. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 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 But, you know, the, <laughs> the thing that's weird, I think it's this one. Uh, thirty day trial version of Office is what it said. Is it really? Oh, That's man. what it said. Come yeah, I couldn't on. believe it. Uh, one of one of the two Surface devices. It was. It's all right. I bought uh, Office. It's already. not even like a year of uh, what Office three sixty five. It was literally thirty day trial wow. version of Office. Yeah, even my sixty nine dollar tablet had a year of Office three sixty five. Uh, I'm just going. I'm going to throw it out there. If uh, you spend two thousand bucks on a Microsoft laptop, maybe they could throw kick your in Office. Kicking a year off. Yes. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I, I just kick it in Office. I mean, just give it to you. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um. People are asking questions. I want to make sure. Uh, yeah, let's answer questions. I mean, yeah. we kind of we've gotten through the major announcements right. of the did day. Did you get to Paul or Mary Jo play with the stylus? Do any uh, do any? Um, no, I did not. Because yeah. I'm curious about latency uh, lag, and I'm not alone. Others in the chat room. Yeah. Well. So what I'll say about that is, uh, assuming it is an evolution of entry, which I guess it makes sense, it would be. <laughs> um, uh, it's. Probably excellent. Now, the weird thing about that is you were talking about that music staff program whose name I also don't remember. Oh, that was so cool. Um, I thought the video of that was a little odd because it seemed like the, the ink was lagging the pen in the video. Yeah. But I think that might have been an effect of the video because I, I can tell you, uh, and anyone using Surface Pro 3 would tell you, there's no lag on that at all. It's uh, mm -hmm. the, the pen performance is really good. Do you ever use the pen? No. No, No, because right? it, it's in the loop. Right. You know, you don't really want to take it out of the loop. <laughs> it's safe. I mean, would you even ever use it? Do you no, my handwriting no. is terrible. Are you kidding me? Okay. It, it looks like a ransom note. Someone would call the police if I if I signed something in a bank. <laughs> I'd probably be arrested. 
Wow. You know, my handwriting's terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what, you know, it's kind of funny because they've trained us by uh, for years of, yeah. of computing yeah. devices yeah. to key everything. Right. And now they want us to write again? It's yeah. Like, that's what I felt like. It's like right. Apple training us not to use a watch, and now they want us to put one on again? <laughs> but I think there are obviously students, uh, some journalists. Right. And also enterprise uses, people going around factory yeah. floors who have like a clipboard. Yeah. And, and let's not forget creative, too. Obviously creative uh, stuff is it's awesome, you know, for those people. Yeah, Will yeah they, they made it. Feel like a legal pad. That's what that thing feels yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. really has the dimensions of a legal pad. It feels like that. Yep. Staff pad is the name of that musical. Staff pad. Staff, Staff pad. pad. So we will get threshold. Probably get threshold, and then uh, there's no talk pad. of threshold. That's interesting. Yeah, they didn't talk at all about. They didn't use the word threshold or no, talk they, about they that. They no, I would you. Uh, somebody's asking if the uh, 950 is also unlocked. Uh, yeah, I think it is, right? Both are unlocked. Both. When you buy it from Microsoft. Right. Yeah. I mean, from obviously, the Microsoft you buy it from AT&T, you're yeah, getting yeah, an AT&T. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Um, just looking at looking through the questions here. I had uh, somebody ask about, um, is there, where is this? Is the keyboard Bluetooth in the Surface Book? I don't believe so. I, I, I You can't prop up the screen uh, otherwise, so it has to be connected. Mm, yeah, it doesn't right, need right. Bluetooth. Um, no. Well, I, I would make the argument on Surface Pro, there's some call to make that a Bluetooth right. keyboard because I could picture wanting to push the screen back a little bit further and have the, the keyboard, you know, the type cover detached, mm -hmm. but they're not doing that either. And there may be electricity going through that's important to the functionality. I'm not really sure. There's no battery in it. I mean, that would right, be part sure, of it. So. Sure. Were you wearing a band too when you walked in, Paul? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Um, can you buy... Okay, here's a weird one. You buy the uh, non-GPU Surface book, but then at a later date, buy a new bottom? No, I don't I'll think so. I'll buy a new bottom. <laughs> I'd like to replace my bottom, please. I don't think you could buy a new bottom. The conversation I haven't had since I was in diapers. That's an interesting <laughs> idea, though. Yeah, I, I, haven't that, I haven't heard that's possible. No, it doesn't. I mean, it's possible, I'm sure, but I... Well, right, or, or that they'll maybe allow not. it. Maybe it's not possible. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. That's funny that someone even thought of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, oh, how people kept asking, uh, based on the Continuum demo, you had yep. mentioned Intel, an Intel part someday in, in Windows um, Phone. Yep. Uh, but does it make you want a, an Intel part? Yeah, because the big lacking on Continuum is apps. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's coming to the Windows Store, presumably in the Threshold 2 time frame, is the, or maybe it's early next year, whatever the time frame is now, is the ability to package Intel apps and put them in the store. And, and by package, I mean, uh, you know, package them in sort of a virtualized environment, like an app based virtualization environment uh, that keeps them sandboxed from the rest of the system and safe. Uh, you know, and keeps the system safe, essentially, really. Um, those kind of apps could be run over a phone if it was Intel-based, because those apps are right. obviously, Intel, you know, they're x86 apps. Um, I, I, you know, it, it's impossible to look at Panos Panay and how the Surface team is coming together with the Lumia team, and uh, these Lumia devices that are coming out right now are clearly Lumia devices. You know, they've been in, they've been in development for a long time. They're, they are what they are. Um, next year, things might be a little different, right? Because they'll put their design touch on it and, you know, maybe share more components and on and on. But, you know, when you think about, and a lot of people do think about a Surface phone, I used to sort of dis discount this because I thought, you know, it, it's just a brand. I mean, we're going to put it like a Lumi out and call it a Surface, you know, whatever. But if they can really share DNA and make something that is a Surface phone, it might make sense for that to yeah. be uh, an x86 device. Mm -hmm. And that would give Intel a nice little leg up in the mobile market, which they desperately need. And it would give Microsoft a leg up in the app side of phone, which is what they really need. Sure. Because then you could run, you know, actual, like, apps, potentially. Right. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we don't know. But what about that would Project be Astoria, the uh, Android apps project? They didn't talk any more about that. Mm -hmm. uh, they're still in the middle of testing that and getting some people signed into the preview program. Yep. Uh, I've got somebody asking what about availability of the Surface Book outside the U.S. because it's not showing in other places. And we don't really know on that one. Oh, that's interesting. 
I, the one thing to keep in mind is that over the past, what's been three years-ish, uh, three years, exactly three years, that they've been selling Surface devices. They have very uh, much expanded the availability right. around the world, and they have different channels for getting Surface right. and all that stuff. There's no way this isn't going out. I mean, it's yeah. a brand-new device. It's possible they want to kind of stage it across the markets, but this isn't going to be like Surface 1 or whatever. They're, this will be something that will go out around the world. Right, I would, I would assume so. Yeah. It may be just as more of a staggered rollout. I mean, mm -hmm. some people did notice that on the video uh, showing the keyboard with the fingerprint reader that it's that is U.S. only, I believe. Oh, There's really? something to do with Like a, uh, that. an encryption thing or something uh, or some form of... Yeah, uh, so yeah. I don't know. Okay. Don't know on that one. Interesting. Uh, any other questions, folks? Um, all right, well, I tell you what... Oh, yeah. What happened at the Yale Club? <laughs> oh, right. Right. I yes. saw your pictures, so you did get in, yes. right? Oh, yes. No problems at all. Okay. In fact, let me tell you, there's, it's a little network going on there. You walk in the door and you belong there. There's, no one's asking for ID or Oh, no, whatever. I know. You're I love in. that. Isn't that awesome? When you're in, you're in. It's you your know? club. It's your club in the city. Yeah. Yeah. You go down no, that I hallway that. to the room. It, I'm, I, it looks like The Shining. I thought, you know, the blood was going to come out of the <laughs> elevator and... It's a very old building that, and a very old club that they renovated not so long ago. So at least it's, it's beautiful. It's fresh. That's, you know, it's super nice. Um, so the <laughs> the funny thing is, and I slept like the dead last night, uh, partially because I was literally dead, and and partially <laughs> because it was very quiet and comfortable and, and nice. And you um, like that bulldog bolster too? I see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, this morning, <laughs> this morning I had a couple hours before I went to the uh, before I left, and uh, I. You know, I need breakfast to get some writing done or whatever. And I figured, you know, I'm looking through the book they have uh, about the hotel. And, um, you know, they have a restaurant in the hotel, right? So uh, it's on the third floor. And I had uh, two options, I guess. I was I was originally going to dress up. I had brought um, <laughs> dress like up. a dress. Well, you, you bring know, your me, white I mean, tie or the black tie? <laughs> no, I mean, I brought a dress shirt and I brought a pair of slacks. And uh, it wasn't ironed, and I thought, you know, I just want, I'm just eating breakfast, right? So I actually wore what you what you see on me now, so this kind of blue um, Carhartt shirt with the logo on it and my jeans or whatever. <laughs> and I go down to the third floor. And speaking of The Shining, I mean, so the elevator door opens, and what I step out into is what it looks like the ballroom from The Shining. Yes, it's like I know. <laughs> it's this enormous room, uh, and every single person in it was wearing a Brooks Brothers shirt, and most of them had on mm -hmm. suit jackets or had suit jackets around the chair they were sitting on. And I swear, like, every person in the place stopped talking. Oh, Lord. Stopped eating. <laughs> oh, Lord. And, and just, and, and, but here's the thing. I know I know what's coming, but the elevator door has closed behind me. <laughs> There's nothing you can and, do. And, 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 and now I, I just have to withstand it. I just have to deal with it. Like, I'm, like I, I know exactly the conversation I'm, just gonna, I'm about to have, and I can't stop it from happening. <laughs> and so the guy, the maitre d', who was dressed in a tuxedo, Looks, walks up to me. I, I won't be able to do this on camera very well, but if you could imagine, he's literally looking me up and down, like sizing me up, you know, and and I know what he's going to say. I already know, and I'm I'm like I'm like hitting the button, like please, dear God, open the elevator so I can leave. And he says, "Sir, you must be wearing a button-down shirt to eat at the grill." <laughs> And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm like, seriously, come elevator. I was looking and for the he, gym. <laughs> Just and then he looks, like... at me, he looks at me again and he says, Apollo is minimum. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm sorry. And he says, if you would like coffee, you could go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the elevator opens and the guy goes, I'm so sorry. The guy inside says, are you going up? And I said, I am now. I'm going down got, all um, the way. I just, to, I just want to get out of here. Where's the I basement? Just, I, I was so awful. I'm sorry, Paul. And it was just one of those things. No, no. I, I, I you know, I Who knew. knew? Right? You didn't know? No. They don't have a sign. You're just supposed yeah. to know. And I don't know because I'm not from Yale. I don't have those credentials. <laughs> I you would know, have, I, I could I should have informed you ahead of time. Yeah, no, actually, yeah. I didn't know that that was the rule, so I, I didn't. And I sort of felt like I almost felt like I should apologize to the room. You know, it was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have interrupted your breakfast. I don't know Laporte seventy seven. I am not I am a right. fool. I am. <laughs> no, I'm you with know the help. They but, figure yeah. you played on the football team. That's all. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. He must have so been I, a legacy. There's, there's a great bagel place right next to it. <laughs> 
No it's, it's kind of what you'd expect breakfast at the Yale Club would be like. And actually, oh, so interestingly, and, and, and on a related note, yes. here's a little here's a little slice of New York. I'm sitting at the counter that's looking out the window in the bagel place eating, and I'm reading news on my phone or whatever. And there's a guy sitting next to me, like two seats down, wearing basically what I'm wearing, a kind of a T-shirt-ish kind of thing, jeans, whatever. And, you know, he's he's moving around over here. You know, I'm not watching him. He's just next to me, and I'm reading. But I can tell he's, he stood up, and he's doing something, but he hasn't left. But he's moving around next to me. And so I look over at him, and I realized he's getting dressed for work. <laughs> and this guy, standing next to me, put on a suit, yeah. a shirt, a yeah. tie, yeah. and a jacket, <laughs> stuffed, stuffed his dirty clothes into his bag, and then went off to work. He got dressed at the restaurant. Wow. I'm like, welcome to New York. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's the weirdest thing because if you're in a small town, you have no privacy. If you're in Manhattan, you can get dressed in the restaurant and just assume I guess so. nobody's looking. It's an amazing. There was a thing. part. There was a part of me that wanted to go back to my room, iron the shirt, go back, back down, down to this place, to, just to make the point. No, I can do that. I can do that. You want me to wear a shirt? I'm sorry, sir. Polo no. is the minimum. <laughs> Polo is the better one. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I hope you had a, a lovely... Are you going back there tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm going home tonight. You're going home. Do not let it right. back yeah. in there. <laughs> no, because I got, a, I got a weird honest. email. I thought something might have happened because I got a weird email canceling your stay. <laughs> oh, no, you know what happened? Uh, <laughs> They thought, actually, they double, it was double booked. Oh, it was double booked. Okay. And the guy, it was really funny because when I checked in, the guy looked at the screen and he said, you didn't book two rooms here tonight, did you? And I looked around like, no, it's just me. <laughs> <You know. laughs> oh, okay. That explains and it. I said, could I have the better of the two? They're very nice. And, and you don't, you don't get oh, a bill no, was, or anything. I mean, you just. You don't get, uh, yes. You don't have to was, sign. You just walk By the way, in. Possibly the best shower I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was fantastic. Those, those are those bathrooms are nice. Lots of uh, marble and yep. yeah, yeah. I took pictures of everything. I, I saw some. I saw the pictures. They're awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, did did I take it? Did I put the picture of the bottom? So the Yale Club logo is on any, everything. Everything on everything. Yeah. So you won't steal it. If you look into the trash basket, <laughs> there is a Yale Club logo liner. in the bottom. The liner trash. has a Yale Club. You know, you could take that home. Yeah. Oh no! You, anything but, you uh, want is yours. Just oh, I it. robbed this place blind. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, so the room was like a hollow shell by the time I left. <laughs> Did it have uh, uh, t pictures of old Yale sports teams on the wall? Oh, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. My room had a picture of some kind of regatta-looking thing yeah. and uh, like a boathouse. Yeah, you know? yeah. it's yeah. kind of funny. Yep. It yeah. really feels like another era. I mean, I'm sure it looked exactly the same in the 30s. It was, it's unchanged. Oh, clearly. Right? clearly. No, it's, it's funny because it's not old, like dingy old. It's, no. It's um, traditional. You know, yeah. it's... Uh, I, I, by the way, it was uh, it was locked tight. It was the quietest. It was there was. Um, it's really quiet. There, That's there the best reason. The street outside and inside yeah. nothing. You no. know, I mean, it was it was wonderful. <laughs> You're in the mausoleum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like that's, said, in I, fact, that's why I like I staying like there. The dead. It's yeah. a, it, it's a good location. I mean, it's midtown. Oh, look, it's fantastic. It's right yeah. next to Grand Central Station, yeah. which yeah. is where we had dinner. It is. Oh, good. Uh, oh, good. That worked out. That's yeah. Nice. It was it great. Great. Good. Yep. Oh, I'm glad. Well, anytime. Let's take a break. Uh, I think we've answered everybody's questions. Is there any? I mean, we just all we talked about was the event. Is there any other uh, news that you want to? We don't know, Leo. Yeah. This is all we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I guess it's Andrew Zarian who got you in there. Yeah, a friend had, of uh, Andrew's and, and Chris uh, Tobin. Yeah. Chris Tobin. Yep. Nice. Well, thank you guys uh, for arranging that. This looks fantastic. Yep. Um, yeah, we had we had options, you know, around New York. I mean, we could have gone out to Queens, I guess, or to other places. But this went, this oh, opened this up. Is, and, <clears> and uh, by the way, the video quality, the audio quality, is superb. I mean, it really is like I always a, want to do it here. We should always do it here. Yeah, <laughs> from now on. Yeah, Mary Jo, just go here every day, every right. week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Well, uh, you know, one way you could get in, bring snacks. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> had you well, brought had you brought a nature box into the breakfast room. <laughs> At the Yale right. Club, they would have surely let you in. You remain and will always be the master of the segue. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our show brought to you by Nature Box Snacks. You walk into a grocery store, picture this. You find an aisle of snacks. They're personalized just for you. All your favorites in one place. Wouldn't that be great? And imagine they're all nutritionist approved. This is the Big Island Pineapple Rings. They're the best pineapple rings you've ever had. What's the what? What does it contain? Pineapple. One ingredient. There's no sulfites. There's nothing bad. No trans fats in any of it. 
No artificial colors or dyes. Uh, just good food. And by the way, you can tailor these for your uh, your diet, your dietary needs. You can go gluten free if you wish. You can uh, you can do vegan. They have, yeah, they have vegan snacks, and of course, savory, sweet, or spicy. This is spicy salt and pepper pistachios. By the way, <laughs> go back. Go through a bag of those in a heartbeat. The nice thing is, all of these bags are resealable. They tear open easily, and they reseal easily. So you you won't be tempted to. Uh, well, yes, you will, but you. Can <laughs> You can stop. Whole wheat chocolate chip cookie bites. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is good if you like the spicy. Sriracha cashew crunch. Spicy clusters of cashews and rice with Peruvian corn. Just, I'm just My mouth is watering. When you're hungry, you know, grab one of these things. It's like having that magic grocery store in your very own house delivered to you each month. And there are new snacks every single month, so you'll never get tired of selection. More than 100 snacks anyway. Without the junk, just fun and flavorful, and you'll be happy eating them, and you'll be happy your kids are eating them. There's the smart smack snack guarantee, so you don't feel like... Because, you know, you can go on the site and choose which snacks you want, and you don't have to worry that if you're getting experimental, because if you say, I, you know, that wasn't great, they'll just, they'll just put something different in next month's box to replace it. It's easy, it's satisfying... It's so good. And we order them for the staff, too. We, businesses should consider Nature Box as well. So go online. Get your first box at naturebox.com slash twit. Unbox a world of taste and possibility. The smart snack guarantee. It takes the risk out of snacking. It's Nature Box. Naturebox.com uh, slash twit. I, one of my favorite sponsors, mostly because we get to eat great snacks. Each and every week, Paul Thorat and Mary Joe Foley. They are at the uh, uh, pres and they're in the CBS audio booth at uh, CBS TV. Mary Joe Foley from AllAboutMicrosoft.com. Paul Thorat from Thorat.com. They're a little giddy because uh, it's been a really big day. And you know, a couple of weeks ago, Paul, you were kind of down in the mouth. You were feeling bad. Do you feel better now? Well, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> part of it is lack of sleep. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I feel like everything they announced is really good, right? I don't really have this experience a lot. It's a little uncomfortable for me, but I, I guess what I would say is that, um, I try to be realistic about stuff. And if it's bad, you know, it's bad. I mean, uh, hopefully when something like this happens and someone like me is able to say, this was really good. I mean, understand that I would not say this if it wasn't so, I mean, I, I came away from this very, very energized and excited about this stuff i mean and you know things that look i i don't think i don't think these window these windows phones are going to take off in any meaningful way in the market but as Which someone who calls wants to me use because they look great they're beautiful phones and if you are someone who loves windows phones i mean i would just say rejoice i mean these are great phones if you're on at&t rejoice yeah well if you love windows phone you are on at&t you know hey. there was a <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there was a yes. story in neo when i think that said that google was going to do apps for these new phones because the loss, the patent lawsuits had been settled or I, something. That's pure rumor, <laughs> that's pure just, unsourced, yeah, unsourced rumor. Unsourced rumor. All right. We, we, we all have our sort of wishful I'm hopeful. thinking. Captain. I know that's you know because yeah. that's the, that's what keeps me off it to be honest. It could uh, it could happen at some point. I just sure, knew it wasn't sure. going to be. I was I was pretty sure it wasn't going to be this event. Microsoft doesn't. Microsoft want to bringing that. a Google at an event like this. No, would have been, that wouldn't have been great. There would have been genuflecting in the aisles, but it actually um, would have mixed their messages though, because this was all about it's our family sure, of devices, sure. Windows 10, and we, they cited some third party apps being on the platform. But I, I, I so it, right with regards to Google, I mean, there are going to be results of that settlement that will become clear over time, right? right? We won't always know exactly what the deal was, right. but we might see some stuff uh, in an SEC filing or yeah, whatever it is. Sure. I mean, we'll find out over time what some of that stuff is. I mean, do I expect, to, you know, Google to make native apps uh, on Windows or whatever? Not really, no. And, you know, what we were talking about, we had a, a bunch of guys, we went to dinner with like, you know, Tom Warren and Daniel Rubino and Andrew and others, and we were kind of talking about this. And, you know, one of the things that sort of occurred to me at the time was, Google doesn't support their own PC platform with native apps. I mean, uh, if you look at the level of support for Google on Windows versus Chrome OS, it's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think they look at it from that perspective. You know, Windows Phone, just the phone, is too small to support. And that's, right. that's, a, that's a legitimate 
it is. Uh, decision on their part. It is. You know? But when you talk about Windows 10 already having 110 million installs, you would think I, that I, you might know, be a little more compelling. Maybe. I mean, I guess what I would say is, you know, you can pin Gmail to your taskbar and you can run it offline sure. on Windows right that's now true. if you want to. Right. Sure. And that's exactly what you can do on Chrome OS. You yeah. know, it's no different. Uh, so, we'll, you know, we'll see. I obviously, uh, in my kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> wide-eyed, <laughs> perpetually happy view of the world, I, I, you know, I could see that happening, but I, yeah. not really. I really am curious what they gave up for that patent suit, right? Because yeah. Oh, yeah. They, suddenly it's just like we're throwing all these patent suits out and we're done. And you know Microsoft got something out of that. And you know what? Google so I, 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 I didn't look at this too deeply, but I, I guess there were a couple of preliminary rulings that went in Microsoft's favor, favor in this case. And it's possible. And by the way, remember what this was. It was Xbox video stuff in Germany. And, right. you know, the, a, a lot of it was Mor Motorola stuff that, you know, is not central to what Google's doing. It's possible true. that true. not much comes out of it. But uh, we'll find out. I right. think we'll find we out someday. Yeah. And we didn't. We, I neglected to mention the low end phone that they they didn't. They barely. Oh, by the mentioned. way, they they neglected. They just <laughs> I mean, passed that yeah. by. Yeah. By the way, you just spent more time on it than they did. <laughs> yeah. uh, and is there anything to say about it? It's, it's uh, no. I mean, it, yeah. it, it looks like a decent mid mid, end, mid range phone. It's cheap. I think it was one hundred forty bucks. Right. Okay. Uh, it'll be a five fifty. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, that's uh, fine. It, you know, some of these products were in the pipeline already, even before yeah. so they i think some of them they decided let's you know we we're not just going to kill everything that was in the pipeline let's just bring it to market there yeah. were probably more phones that were in the pipeline that they're not doing and probably right. sure. for good reason yes you know? yeah uh all right i think uh wow this has been a lot of fun do you guys want to even uh do the back of the book or should we just uh, drop so the we mic and go home <laughs> yeah we didn't do picks we just have been too busy um <laughs> yeah. no, we've had lots i bet of, you've had uh, some beer though uh, a little bit of beer yeah. No, no yeah. nothing. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm really. excited. <laughs> I, 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 do, I, are you guys gonna, uh, Mary Jo? Are you gonna buy the Surface Book? What is you know? What are you? Uh, I want to try it before I buy it. But That's you know, silly. I'm not. Why? I'm not horrified. I am not horrified. <laughs> Leo, by she's that not price one of us. <laughs> I am not one of you. What's wrong with you? That price tag doesn't horrify me. I almost paid fifteen hundred dollars right. for this machine. Right. So sure. Right. Sure. What? Uh, it looks great. I, I, Really, it looks nice. really somebody nice. said in the chat room, you know, we've always said, and it's true, we do always say, don't buy the first product in a brand new product line. This is as first as you can get. Microsoft's never That's done true. a laptop. That's true. Yeah, and I think they've learned from Surface. I mean, the fourth generation Surface Pro is well, a okay, very but mature product. Uh, let, let's imagine what would a what would a second gen version of this book thing look right? Mm -hmm. I, I it could be a little thinner. Mm -hmm. I could imagine them actually closing that gap, right? They might. And I we talked uh, with these guys uh, a lot, and they. They claimed, you know, that they're they're okay with the whole. They there are good reasons for it. I will say, when you when you flip it around so that the screen's on the top and it's sort of like a tablet, it presents kind of a nice writing angle. It does. You know, I, I mean, I'm not saying that that's not the reason it's there, no. um, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, you know, I Gen two, either. they they kind of close the you gap. Know, you know what I would love to see them do is do a hybrid Surface Book, Surface Pro kind of thing, yeah. which would be um, Surface Pro weight and portability. With a hardware keyboard. base, yes, right. Maybe squeeze a 13-inch screen into that little yeah, frame, that smaller cool? bezels, That'd and put put cool. an actual hardware key. I don't know why those things don't exist now is beyond right. me. Yeah. You know, it, even if it sh even if it cost a pound, right, to have an actual laptop keyboard. I would do it. That would oh, be my I, I dream would, machine. That would be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, I, I, I will share one fact. I think I could share this. Uh, we were told last night at the meetup that pre-orders for Surface Book have exceeded pre-orders for any Surface device in the mm. first day. Wow. Like when they, turned the, when they yeah. turned that thing on, it went right off the chart. They so they finally acknowledge that people want laptops. Let's face yes. it. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm I mean, sure, I, you know, that's I kind of like it. Windows 10. It's kind of saying, all right, all right, all right. We got the yes. message. It is. It's totally that. Was that a Matthew McConaughey imitation? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, but, yeah. I, uh, you know... Yeah. I, I ordered an RT, and I kind of really never used it much, and then I just couldn't bring myself to get a Surface uh, for, for because I just, I want a, I want a laptop. I right. Yes. Right. But I'm very happy to buy, even at a premium price, a laptop from Microsoft. I don't know why, but yeah. I, I, they've never no, I done mean, one before, but, but I just this, feel like this, that's going to be the thing. This device that Mary Jo has, um, certain HP laptops, uh, certain... I can't think of one, but Lenovo, we'll Dell, uh, Lenovo ThinkPads, Dell, obviously. Yeah, right. command this kind of price. You know, we're in the yeah. thousands yeah. to two thousand price, so fifteen hundred yeah. bucks, let's say. Um, if yeah, if this 
one for Microsoft always obviously has some advantages. I will say, and I think you'd agree, seeing it in person, it absolutely measures up to oh, this yeah. um, totally does. level of quality. It does. And it, you know, it, that it commands that kind of price, I think is justified. And you know, it's almost ironic. Now, if you have that machine, if you have the Surface Book, it's like you're the one thinking different because everybody's got a MacBook. You can be the one. I oh. noticed. You, I noticed you use the grammatically correct phrase there. Is that because you are a writer? <laughs> maybe, or maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> and I, you know, as I said, I got the two thousand ninety nine dollar uh, version, which yeah. I think is fine. That's the one step down. It's an. Yeah. I, it's still an i seven. It's still, still got a dedicated GPU. Right. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just a little bit less RAM. What is it? Eight, eight gigs of RAM. Eight gigs of RAM. That's enough for yeah. Windows, so right? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And a 256 gig Six, hard drive, that's fine. 16 is, you know, developers, people using virtual machines, yeah. maybe really high video editing, that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm really intrigued by using a pen with this, about uh, touching it, the clipboard mode. I think there's a lot of very interesting things on this. We're so, going to get you yet. <laughs> uh, well, as I told Mike, it's too bad it's running Windows. But yes. I can, I'll, we'll see. <laughs> oh, with that little last shift to the kidney, I guess we'll call it One a One little shot before we go, ladies and gentlemen. I just had to You'll, do it. Uh, it will take a while, but you'll eventually and, bleed And out. I'm sending you a, uh, a couple of polo shirts, Paul, for your next <laughs> yeah, yeah. visit to New York. I brought a shirt. I, I have little shirts with Y's on them. You're going to love oh, them. That would be the best. <laughs> I would probably be treated with free mints. You know? <laughs> Should have worn a Yahoo shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why exclamation mark is not Yale. It's not the same. <laughs> not the same. <laughs> yeah, they, don't, they don't get that excited unless there's a game on. That's true. Oh, All my right. God. Speaking of which, I'm sorry. One last thing. In the elevator, <laughs> it was a list of activities <laughs> that included, I swear to God. Uh, the, <laughs> it, was, it was so awesome. They, <laughs> they have like lawn games that they play. Yes. And uh, in some park. Yes. And something about it was it was like a day of like it was like horses and boats like in one day. <laughs> I swear to God, these people have activities. Wow. Like that they like this is like a day out. It's you know, the in New York. Yale Club. What the hell did you expect? It was like I Skittles and beer. It. Come on. I think it's a good picture, it was horses and boats. You're I, never was, gonna let me uh, book another guest in there again. You're mocking uh, our whole uh, our I, whole I, no, way I of life. I enjoyed it it's thoroughly. <laughs> No, it was really now, nice. At least you didn't wear a Harvard shirt there. That would have been really. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Where nice. are you from? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, oh, this has been fun. Paul Thorat, Thorat.com. Please go there. And, uh, of course, Paul's been writing like a demon, and I'm sure there'll be lots more talking about all the new stuff. Mary Jo Foley, of course, all about Microsoft.com. The two best Windows journalists out there. Uh, and I, and I do want to thank uh, the folks at uh, CBS for letting us use their studio. That was very kind of them. Thanks, uh, Andrew, for arranging that. Um, and Chris, uh, that's that's fantastic. We appreciate it. Really the best-looking set we've ever had. Is. And uh, we do this show uh, uh, Wednesdays, 11 a.m. Pacific. You're probably glad at this point that we didn't try to do this Last night. This, uh, I, oh, I, man. I, I, this yeah. is... Uh, it couldn't have happened. It's funny because we tried so many different ways to make it happen yesterday, yeah. and this was clearly the only way. It was. To yeah, I'm this, glad. Yeah. And, you know, it gave us time to chew on it and uh, and for me to order one. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you uh, for being here. We'll be back next Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1800 UTC. For Windows Weekly, you can get on-demand versions if you can't watch live at the website, twit.tv slash WW or wherever you get your podcasts because we're everywhere. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Mary Jo. Thank you all for being here. And we'll see you next week on Windows Weekly. Bye-bye. You know what is ironic? This entire show is produced on a Mac. Ah. You shut your mouth. I'm out shut of here. your mouth. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because uh, everything we do here, as much as I like the Mac, is done on Macs, uh, uh, PCs. We do yeah. the, the TriCaster's a yeah. Windows device. Actually, Leo, I don't know if you remember this, but when we first started doing Windows Weekly, I actually used to use a Mac because for, just for the show. Uh, at your on your advice, because Skype actually worked better on the Mac. It did all the time, yeah. Uh, and I think it was, you know, Skype was obviously not part of Microsoft originally, and I think it was probably, for whatever reason, it was yeah. better on the Mac, so. Yeah, no, yeah no, they used to be the, uh, the my, my secret embarrassment. Was, uh, <laughs>
We did that for a few people. We got them uh, dedicated Macs because they would, you know, the real problem is people are running other stuff on their computer while they're trying to do the show. And sure. That sure. can kill it. I try to keep the torrenting to a minimum, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. did, you did do the Panos Panay story. That was the story, right? Yeah, no, he was him telling me how they had done the video at the last minute, right? Uh, just to screw with people, and I uh, and I told him, I said, you know, I, you know, I, I, I had it, you know, I had it, I shared it with you, and uh, you know, he, they kind of appreciated. I didn't go, you know, really broad with it, but uh, I didn't trust it. I mean, that was really the real reason. It wasn't really any deference to them, but no, I remember when you showed it to me, I'm like, what? yeah, I know it was crazy. <laughs> I'm like, this is nuts. But the the other stuff that this person had, I knew was was right, and. I, and then there was this bomb in there, and I was like, this is... No. But Mary Jo, you said last week, I'm convinced there's one more thing. Was that... I was. I just I just was like, there's well, we going to be one more thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just because I felt like if, it, if there isn't, this is going to be a little anticlimactic. Right? Yeah. Well, we were, you know, we were in line out front, and we were running to people like Chris Capicella and people from Wagnerstam, and, you know, there was... The, and, uh, um, it doesn't matter, but we were, you know, they they were saying, oh, you know, we got a couple things you guys didn't know about. They were kind of, you know, short, and that always grinds me a little bit, you know, like, <laughs> like, you know, and and it's their job. Yeah, 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 but the surface talk we didn't know about, and that was that's I think how a neat do they keep it? Sir, how do they keep it secret? I don't, I don't know, know, you know. I, well, I've heard on Surface they they let very few of them out, and many Microsoft employees have no idea what's going on right. in Build eighty seven. Like they right. just don't know. Yeah, and you, yep. could, you could also say, you know, with this generation, because there was a new device, um, everyone knows Surface Pro 4 is coming. This is right. that obviously, it's bad. always happening. And you know basically what it's going to be. Right. And so if that thing gets out in the world, first of all, nobody would even recognize it. It looks just sure. like Surface Pro 3. And if they did see it, it would verify, oh, they're doing Surface Pro 4. This is clearly the big thing. I, it, it would almost throw people off it the would. trail of this other stuff. So uh, I don't know how it happened, but I pledged you this would never happen. <laughs> it's such a huge story because they've never done a laptop. So, that, I mean, it really yeah. is significant, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's also kind of an acknowledgement that uh, maybe uh, people do want a laptop still. I, I know, know I do. I think that ratio is, is uh, maybe a little generous toward lap, uh, toward the lap tablet. I mean, I think there is a 5%-ish kind of time when I... I want to use it like a tablet, sort of. And I, I, there are little things you can scroll through a screen. Like, you must do that sometimes when you're reading this kind I of I hate using screen. touch. Okay. So. <laughs> if I do it, I'll do it in a convertible <laughs> mode. I probably won't detach it. I will. I'll, right. I'll, I'll flip it around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it would be I, I, for things like uh, no, note taking, where I don't just don't want the keyboard to get in the way or a drawing right. or something. No, just, I almost never use touch on this even. No, that's what I mean. I, I, I it's okay. So I, I, I would, I would use it very little myself. Yeah, you would. Uh, I, and I do very little. Um, so I think with the case of this device, will I ever detach right. the screen? It's going it to be interesting. And very, very rarely, I think. Uh, Watching a movie. And presumably, there will all the OEMs will not uh, duplicate this, right? And that'll be interesting to see if they do. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, know. I, 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 you know, I think with Surface, Surface, I would say with Surface, they've kind of established this category, right. and they really did give a blueprint for others to follow, and that God we know they right. followed it. Um, this one, I'm not sure what to say. I mean, we have devices that are sort of like this. Yeah, I mean, I mean this isn't it, unique. No, no, it takes a lot of engineering uh, prowess yeah. and money to yeah. do this, right? Yeah. I, I, I do think with easy. convertible PCs or two-in-ones, whatever you transform PCs, whatever, there may be too many different kinds of device types, and maybe this coalesces into maybe. a few, and we'll see. But right. I, I the, the, the Surface Book is... Is a really nice device, and, and we'll have to use it and see how see it works. See how it is. Yeah. All right, guys, let you go. Thanks. Thank you so much.